Hey, so welcome, welcome everybody to the Regurgitated Podcast, Episode Seven. This episode, I'm joined with Zach. Hey, Zach, That's what's me. cracking? I just, Not much cracker. Hey, dude, hi. Hold on, hold up. Hold, hold on the fucking minute. phone. What's what's this? What's this? What's this? What's Unavailable. This? Unavailable. That's Exclusive what it is. merch. So in the last episode, I said we would do a giveaway. Right. I teased. Teased giveaway. I'm, I'm a little naughty boy. I gave a yeah. teaser. Right. I little said one. we'd do a giveaway. Anyway. This is exclusive staff merch. We're not selling this. For the year. If, but you can still, look at that. Look at that. Look at how much you can stretch it, too. Yeah, it's exclusive for this year. For this year only. There'll be more staff shirts in the future. I know this is kind of a bullshit, like, like YouTuber giveaway move. Like, this is not like a funny way to start an episode. But seriously, <laughs> if you subscribe to the main channel, I put this on Clips channel too. If you subscribe to the main channel, link in description, bio, whatever, and you send us a screenshot of that in any of our social media platforms, I will buy you one of these and send it to your house. Correct. And that okay? doesn't count for Sean because Sean only wears one shirt. And actually, speaking of Sean, I just want to talk about hating women right quick. Do we have any like thoughts on this? Oh, yeah. Do we have uh, any misogynist thoughts that have occurred to us in the past week? Because we run a podcast, right? And so like a big part of uh, podcasting is uh, having like alt-right edgy opinions that like piss people off on the Internet. And then you can like backtrack it. So that way right. people that like kind of agree with you, but don't right. want to see, don't want to be labeled as misogynist, sexist, racist right. or anything. You see the most blatantly obvious thing in the world. And then they kind of go, yeah, see, they're not that bad. Yeah, exactly. But then really, you just kind of spew misogynist content. Have you had, had any of those? thoughts recently i've had i have had a few of those sp very specific thoughts recently i i both think that uh, uh i you should be able to have sex with a lot of women but women should not be able to have sex with a lot of men and also i also think that murder probably not great i mean you know what i mean so press subscribe if you want to continue I, to support I'm, I'm whatever saying, the fuck this bit is. I'm just saying. I think let's let's cut the bullshit because I think we're obviously kind of doing a bit. So this past week, Ben's been telling me he's prepared a special guest. Apparently, we talked about someone on the last episode too, and Ben pulled some strings and got a special guest. He's he's wanting to bring in for this episode. So we're we're kind of fudging it up a little bit. We're zhuzhing the pot, I'm zhuzhing as the one might say. He's I, zhuzhing the pot. And it's been a. It's a Buddy, I've known for quite a little bit, a while, a time. You've good guy, never met him before. You've known this guest for a while, but you've never brought him up. I've never brought him up, never, never uh, talked to him actually face to face before. But I've known him for a while. We kind of, you know, follow each other on social media. Regurgitated pod on regurgitated <laughs> pod on Twitter. Um, so my eyes look really blue today, don't they? Am I wrong? Am I colorblind? We're not helping out our our like the stereotype of this podcast never like being what? on topic for more than two seconds. What? You have a special guest waiting behind a curtain, yeah, and see. you're just gonna make him. You're just gonna make him or her. That's a fun thing that people mm, do, right. also too. When you're trying to not be, you know, when you're when you're too insecure about being like misogynist, you always go him or her yeah. or her. <laughs> it could be a her. And, you, it, it, and the, the whole thing about it is. We're not misogynists, but the women no. and men have different. You know what I mean? I mean, let me call. Let me, let me call the guest. I, I I told him to be here at, nine, at ten, and it's ten right now. Hello. <laughs> he didn't even do the accent or anything. <laughs> he just said hello. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> He's such a dumb. Is he? Did he just leave? Like we had this whole introduction for him, and he just left. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna kill myself, dude. This is it. Well, we'll have a guest at some point whenever he decides yeah, whenever to. Whenever he decides, to, to, or she decides or she to come decides back, to show up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah but, is, that my, is that my cue? <laughs> 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 I, come on out. Can, wait, 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 wait. Who, who, okay, bud? really quick. Who did you have for a guest? Who did uh, you got for? Who is this person before he um, turns I, on I his camera? He, he doesn't like to like introduce himself or be told what to do. Uh, the, it's, it's my buddy. His name is uh, and, Andrew. I, I I call him Andy generally, um, but he's a good he's a good friend of mine. I know I know him for a bit. I actually I haven't met him, as I said, in person or anything. I've talked to him, but uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, Andy. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to yeah. get my camera working. Yeah, get your fucking camera working, dude. 
Okay, I got my camera working now, guys. Hey, Jesus my Christ, man. we're about to get demonetized. My oh, man. is that Andrew Tate? That's Andrew Tate. <laughs> oh, is that my Andrew Tate? Tate, dude. Uh, yeah, you're all... Is that Walter pussy. Hartwell White? Hey, sorry, my sorry, my second Bugatti uh, just flew in today, and now okay. your Bugatti flew in. I, I was having sex with a woman in the Bugatti, How'd or that go? is that just unrelated? What did you just say to me, pussy? <laughs> <laughs> you have a script of things to say. Uh, so you wrote uh, out a bunch of one-liners. So here's I want to ask I want to ask Andrew Tate some questions. Wait, wait, really quick before we get into your your bullshit questions, I have a quick question. Why yeah. isn't there that like Indian woman giving you a massage or whatever that like Eastern European uh, bitch I, that uh, rubbing yeah. your shoulders? Unfortunately, I had to fire that bitch um, because. She couldn't take a hit. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what's, you, know what's cra- you know what's crazy? Uh, you know what's crazy about that Andrew Tate is uh, that that was I'm related to that woman. <laughs> Go ahead. Here's the thing: I feel like you're 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 bullshitting because I have no clue how you would be able to prove that or find that out. That I'm related to Sasha. Are you just saying that you're like Eastern European? Is- Verify this in some way. Like, what, what verification do you have? I'll, I'll, Andrew, you Andrew Tate, Instagram is this? right now. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Andrew, yeah, can you is please, this how you guys him. knew each other? Yeah, show, how him how, show him how you follow me on uh, Instagram, but I don't follow you back because I don't follow men. Okay, hold on. Is that some? Is that something that you've said before, Andrew Tate? Oh, I say a lot of things before. <laughs> 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 He's fucking dying. <laughs> hey, you got the guy smoking a cigarette over here. That's not. All, I can't. I can't fucking following. see that shit. Just following right um, there. So don't forget to subscribe to Hustlers University and a Hustlers. You can just magazine. subscribe to it. I thought it was like fifty dollars a month. Yeah, I mean, Hustlers Magazine is also the same thing. Is Hustler, Do you do you do a Hustlers Magazine? I mean, I read Hustlers Magazine. <laughs> that, well, you don't own Hustlers Magazine. Yeah, I don't own Hustlers Magazine. That's okay, fine. but you own Hustlers University, what else do you right? Own? Yeah, women. Actually, I actually um, sell women. I sell oh. women in the Eastern Bloc of Europe. Okay, sl- slavery is alive and well in Romania. Well, apparently. no, but it's, it's not slavery because they do get paid cents, but not mm. too much. Because if you get them too much money, you see, women don't know how to use money. Right. That gotcha. Makes sense. So it's more like indentured servitude. Well, if you're a leftist, you can say that. Yeah. yeah wow. What would you call it if you were a, a rightist? Well, you see, women don't really deserve titles. And so a servant is a title. So I, I tend not to acknowledge their existence other than money. That's so what I you, say, like, refer, you refer to them as bitches, women. Yeah, I call them whores. I usually call them checks. You know, just like check, like, check, like Czechoslovakian or no, like, no, like, like, money, like money, like money, like money. Oh, okay, okay, because like yeah, they're, they're worth only money. Okay, okay. Uh, did you give them like a number? Did you like I tattoo mean, a number on their arm or something? Yeah, so usually it's like a, a set of like six or seven numbers. Sometimes it's just a star to keep track of them. Gotcha. Okay. So, uh, I, I got a question. What's your favorite tattoo? <laughs> My favorite tattoo. Next question. All right. Here's the thing. Alpha males can't have favorites. It just, it just, it, it's like a. No, well, that's actually a common misconception. We can have favorites, but we just have multiple favorites. Because so we're, not like we're not limited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think or I like heard YouTube? you talk about this before. It's like something along the lines of like women, women can cheat or something like that because they're meant to serve and then men are. <laughs> Men can't cheat because they're meant to provide or something it's not, along those yeah, lines. Yeah, it's not cheating. It's natural for men to have sex with multiple women. But the thing is, women having sex with multiple men is problematic because they're women. I've seen some. I've seen some some femdom videos that would say otherwise. That would contradict that point. <laughs> <laughs> you just call any dominatrix. <laughs> That was so unexpected. Andrew Tate really, he pulls out all the stops. What can I say? Honestly, yeah. honestly, can you give like, so I have, I'm having an issue right now where. Um, yeah, I'm having a few of them too. My, this, is, this is a very problematic segment that we're hearing. My girlfriend, on national. my girlfriend doesn't want me to like fuck other women. And I'm having like a little bit of like trouble myself dealing with that fact. How do I, how do I deal with that? You're having 
problems with your woman telling you what to do, or you're having problems with that you can't do it yourself? Both. You're a pussy. If a woman tells you to do anything, you do the exact opposite because they don't know what they're talking about. Oh, shit. Is that like reverse psychology or whatever they call it? Women are like dogs because dogs also have vaginas that I have sex with. (laughs) (laughs) Andrew Tate, do you believe in true love? I do believe in true love. I believe, uh, I think, um, true love, you know, when men and women get married and have children, I think that's really beautiful. I also think um, that I, I think you can have that separate idea and have sex with a lot of women. Fair. That is really fair. How do you feel about taxes? The problem with taxes, the biggest problem with taxes, actually, is that they don't make sense. I mean, I made the money. You know what I'm saying? That is a great point. You did make the money. Yeah, I don't think anyone's denying that you you made the money. In fact, I think the 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 government would also agree that you made that money. I think they're they're acutely well, aware of the fact that you made that money. Do you get taxed know, in Romania? They know about my printer. I've been making my own money for years. <laughs> oh, you're talking about your That's, slave quarter. I mean, de- like servant. Ha- I mean, ser- your check yeah, we'll see, box. We'll see, Checks box. See, the thing yeah. is, women, check, women don't check, even, mix. Yeah, women don't even know how to flirt. So I'll have my women in front of cameras. Um, you know, men are really attracted to breasts, but I'm the one typing. I'm the one typing like, oh, fuck me harder, daddy, and stuff like right. that. Okay. So, so, okay. so I'm the one who's flirting with these men. Right. Right. And they think they're flirting with women. So they're, they're gay. gay. They're gay. That's sick, actually. That's really cool. Now, that's the kind of Jedi mind tricks they teach you in Hustlers University. Right. Well, well, but that's a, that's an advanced topic. For $300, you can buy my PhD program, um, which I'm now blanking on the name of. Is it accredited? Is that an accredited? Um, perhaps. How do you respond to the allegations that the, that the Hustlers University is like an MLM of some sort? I'm not even sure what an MLM is. You'd have I think to, it's like mothers I'd like to market. I think it's mother of mine, actually. Well, in the, the thing is, like, if if a woman is taking the course, I would hope that she has a smart boyfriend behind her who's actually taking the course because she won't be able to understand. That's what we're talking to decipher about. Really like fair. like some kind of like yeah, um, I mean like zodiac like, like, killer. Like, look at Belle Delphine. A lot of people think she's a marketing genius, but it's obviously her husband behind the scenes doing it, right. helping the men jack off. Right. <laughs> helping right. the men jack off. Right. Well, yeah, they, they probably do have copywriters and everything going through there and replying yeah. to people all day, right? Yeah. yeah. I sincerely doubt she was smart enough to turn a computer on. <laughs> <laughs> so so I, I, don't, I, don't you run some kind of OnlyFans business of your own? Isn't that a thing? Couple, couple minutes ago that i i um own a couple women that have an only fans account okay okay That's fair. when you say own like is it like a pokemon kind of deal or is it like an employee I mean, kind I of mean, deal i mean if they leave the house without my permission they get shot on site sure so why did you move to romania <laughs> um to evade laws actually right. the Ameri- what, were there yeah, any like laws actually- that were like problematic for you taxes well, taxes, gun ownership is a big deal to me. Mm. See, the, the reason why America is so dangerous is actually because, uh, in, like in Romania, if you pay the right people, you can do whatever you want. But in America or like even in like other parts of Europe, like London, you could just be walking down the street and some random black guy stabs you. Right. You know, that's just how that works. Right. That is how Could that please works. Please put the clip in of, of Andrew Tate saying he would shoot terrorists with an AK 47 in Paris, France. Imagine one day you're sitting in Paris, you're sitting there having a fucking coffee, and terrorists roll through with AKs, and the person next to you has their brains blown out. You're going to stand there and be like, waiting to die like a motherfucker. I'm going to be like, bang, oh, I've seen that before. Okay, boom, boom, duck and dive in, take one terrorist out next, get the AK, go Rambo, take out all of fucking Pakistan with a G. I don't play games. I need that clip. Insert I've that clip. never heard of that. In okay, life. okay. We'll, I, I would, we'll I would run that by you after shoot, this. Yeah, I will absolutely shoot terrorists in France. Yeah, me. so you're in you're in you're in France sipping your cup of coffee and then the guy next to you gets his head blown out, you pick up an AK and just start murking. I mean Afghans, I always I always carry an AK in my pocket, yes. Okay. In your pocket. That's in a your big pocket. pocket. Yeah, that's a pocket AK. That's a large pocket. <laughs> Um, is it part of the, large pockets, yeah. Is it like the cargo shorts? Is it just like separate parts in each pocket of the cargo shorts? I wear skinny jeans. You wear skinny jeans. Mm-hmm. You got a dump truck? 
Uh, I do own a few trucking um, businesses, yes. Okay. How are, the, how are the taxes on those? Um, the biggest problem is gas. Um, people think that it's a non-renewable resource, but I've never run out. That actually trumps a lot of things I've heard in America. You, you, yeah, I think the current like political climate is pretty concerned over gas, but in Romania, it's cyclical. <laughs> well, think about this. like The most rich person in the world people think is Elon Musk, but that's not true. In Saudi Arabia, they literally own oil. So they're probably like trillionaires. Well, yeah, I think if you if you factor in the Saudi family as a whole, it's you know they would they would be the most well most wealthy individuals in the. Planet. Oh, I think by far. I mean, they literally have the wealth of a country. You know yeah. what I mean? I know. I know what you mean. I mean, I could argue that, like, you know, speaking of Saudis, they know how to treat their women. But you don't cover yours up, though. You're kind of like the anti-Saudi. Please cut this bit for here before we invent a new slur. <laughs> before we invent a new slur. For, for, uh, oh my god! So uh, yeah, yeah I, I got a, I got a question. I hope none of us decide to run for president of the United <laughs> States at some point after this shit. Uh, I got a, I got a question for you, Andy. Um, do you have any like sort of weird rivalry with somebody that kind of does what you do, uh, but in, in, a, in a? I'm sorry. I just thought that was really funny. <laughs> that was so stupid, dude. That was so dumb. Very, very beta energy going on do you, in this podcast. Do you, do you, do you describe yourself as, as as an alpha male or a sigma male? Like I said, I am above titles at this point. I am a lord. I thought you said the women were too low no, for women, titles. Women, now women, you're saying yeah, you're above yeah. titles, right? Exactly. So what? What is so titles? I, is just my so, pronouns. My pronouns would be king and lord. Okay, no, that's fair. No, that's really fair. I understand I don't know why you haven't put that in your Instagram bio yet. Pronouns yeah. are king slash lord. My my question here is like, there are a lot of people that kind of do what you do, right? You know, they kind of they got the whole like podcast thing, maybe, or they got like you know they fucking a lot of women and putting them on. How do you feel about Denzel Zarian? He takes steroids. I don't actually have a problem with Dan Zarian. I think I think you have a miss understanding of what's going on not no one does what i do okay because i openly beat women okay most people are not open about that so you're, you're and then you laugh about it online right yeah i mean it because you know i accidentally hit women all the time so like the 2012 and, thing with the belt or whatever that's that's fine yeah like that's something that you yeah, I, I was going to bring that up, too. I think, you know, there was that, that video that TMZ leaked, right, where you beat a woman senseless with a belt, and then you claim that she was laughing in the video, but, I mean, we scrubbed through the video. I mean, we ran it back. We played it in slow-mo 12, 20, 500 times, and we, we didn't hear laughter once. Construing that when I'm laughing, everyone's laughing, because if I'm laughing, it's funny. Mm. So I see. It's a win. It's a win because you had fun. Well, I think you can't we lose if you're having yeah, fun. Right, exactly. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I see. I, right, right. And I can't lose because I'm having fun. And if she were hurt, that would have been a loss on my end because I believe in true love and beating women. Okay, um, no, that's fair. That's fair. Look, I believe I, in true love and beating women. Let's put that on a t shirt, please. What? Dude, oh, can you hear that? I hit my. Are you okay, dude? That's the thickest thing in the world. It hit my tooth. I was surprised no it didn't break. <laughs> He's got no Is it tooth. White? Tooth. Wait, am I dumb? Is it just plaque? Do I got plaque in my teeth. No, you're, you're good. No, you're lying, dude. Andy Tate, you're lying. I'm good. <clears throat> um, the thing is, I think I think what was su- what's super important the difference between my podcast and my like popularity and stuff. Um, is more the fact that I'm actually successful. I think when you find out that Dan Bilzerian rents people, like the people that I rent are masseuses. Dan Bilzerian rents just women. I own those women. Right. I don't rent because renting is really bad for your credit. Right. You can't tattoo something you rented. Right. Exactly. Or like on a lease, like some people, some people think that just because you're leasing or renting a prostitute that you can't then take that lease contract and sell it to someone else. A lot of people think they have to either pay. You can sublet. 
Yeah, you could sublet. Okay. Yeah. And I think and I think that's what makes me more successful than a lot of people. Also, Amazon drop shipping prostitutes is a thing. Amazon drop shipping prostitutes. From what, Alibaba? Yeah. God damn. Can we do like a Alibaba prostitute giveaway on the next episode Holy instead? Shit. Yeah, you subscribe and we send you a, a three dollar Chinese hooker. Yeah, I'll I'll <laughs> here to, to kind of like even out that price, I will subscribe to Hustles University 2.0. Join the Discord yeah. channel and so I can I can help out in there. Here's the thing. If you subscribe to this channel, I will personally send you one of these T-shirts. If you pay for a Hustlers University subscription and send it to us, I will tell someone that there should be a Chinese prostitute sent to your house. It might not be a Chinese prostitute. It might be local authorities, but I will send someone to your house. (laughs) And we can't even send uh, one of these shirts to uh, Andy Tate because he doesn't. He doesn't wear shirts. I'm sure we could figure out a way to do. Oh, he doesn't wear. Well, he wears shirts outside. Sometimes, right? Sometimes. Why do you just you just hang around shirtless all the time? Because I look amazing. comfortable. Look amazing. You look amazing. What, I mean, a, what is your workout regimen? Is it like the uh, one punch oh, man? I don't shit? work out. I, I don't oh. work out. I drink. I drink a lot, and sometimes I do push ups. Sometimes. What is wait, yeah. wait, when I, uh, Why did you mention drinking when I said work out? Is that Cause, part cause of your I regimen? Don't work out. Oh, okay. Because I don't work out. I drink. Okay, fair. What do you drink? What's your favorite drink? <laughs> Vagina juice. Vagina juice is your favorite drink. Like discharge? Whatever comes out. You so just many have, things. Uh, if you insert something in there, some so many different things can come out of there. <laughs> you um you have you know those pee? cups? You know those cups that, that women wear inside of them or something? You just yeah. you use that, you like plug yeah, it up on cup. the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, you just you plug it up on the bottom and you just kind of collect it. Mm-hmm. Like a Capri Sun. Why not? Do you like the smell of uh, piss? Women's. Only women's piss, not men's piss. Yeah, you can tell. You can tell. How what, can- what would you say the notes are? If you were like a wine taster swirling around a fine glass of piss, what were the notes that you think could denote uh, male or female? Um, well, see, I wouldn't know male piss. Because I don't drink male piss. Andrew, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. We're all guys here. We all, with kind of, piss? we all drink some man piss you never, here you and never there. Just, no, 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 it doesn't need to be someone else's. You never just, just, just piss in a cup a little bit and just sniff. No, nope. But I will tell you this. Women's piss, if done right, tastes like sugar. If made, if made properly. If made properly. What, what, do, they have, what do they have to eat to, yeah, to, to get say, it to what, smell like sugar? It tastes like sugar. Or smell. I don't fucking know. You know, I don't really know what women eat because I'm not a woman. That's a good point. He's not a woman. Who feeds and them? He's got a point. You have a chef that feeds these? That's actually women? a great question. I'm not entirely sure how that. I know I get a lot of new women. Um, I don't really know who feeds them. I know sometimes they just disappear. Okay. They disappear. Well, well I, I mean, got- some, don't show up, some don't show up to work. You know what I mean? Okay. Maybe they got like a side hustle or something going on. They like kind of. Uh, they would have to have a boy. They would have to have a boyfriend that did the side hustle for them. But right, sorry, yeah, doesn't make sense. Do you still think about that tweet you tweeted out sometimes when you posted a picture of your pilot and said, "I don't know, a woman can barely drive a car. I don't know why she can fly my plane." I was getting on a plane and I could see through the cockpit that a female was the pilot. And I took a picture and I said, "Most women I know can't even park a car. Why is a woman flying my plane?" And they banned me. Yeah, I think. Um. I shouldn't have lived that day because women can't drive or fly. You shouldn't have lived. Yeah, I would have died. I should have died. I was, I'm very lucky. That's pretty drastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought you meant because you said it. Like, okay, no, I no, God, no, no, I no. Everything I say is true. Yeah. yeah I, What's I mean, the meaning of life? I'll be on your next podcast. All right. Uh, well, it's good to talk to you. I know that like Andrew Tate has a thing where if you get into a debate with him, he kind of just either takes off his headphones or he just leaves the call. So, you know, oh, I, yeah. I, I, do have, I have a debate with Hassan next month. Next Hassan month. The you plan it out monthly? No, I mean, so he called me out something about multi multiple levels. Like he plays a lot of video games, something about the Hustlers University and video games and multi levels or whatever. And I was trying to explain to him that Hustlers don't play video games. They play women. You know, but I, Hassan just doesn't do. know anything about yeah. hustling. Right. 
as you do, right? I know I get that. I totally get that. So when is that? I, I can we can like put it in like a time card or something at the bottom. Ben, what the fuck are you talking about? I dude, it's fucking part of the bit, dude. <laughs> I just said like, what is it? Said, all right, guys, come on. I'm gonna put it in my Google Calendar then, dude. You guys are fucking <laughs> pussies. What your pussies? Um, but what a right. Google Calendar. That I want to put the debate in Google Calendar. I want to hear Hassan talk to Andrew Tate, my good buddy Andy Tate. Oh. So so I guess I guess Andy, uh, you know, th- thanks for coming. It's been about what thirteen minutes. It's been about ten minutes. <laughs> so you know, yeah, I, I gotta get. I gotta go wash dishes before Haley gets home because she'll be mad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! The whole time it was Sean. <laughs> womp womp. Uh, this is a dumb bit. That was a dumb bit. How is that only ten minutes of bit too? How is that only ten minutes? Because I didn't prepare for Jack shit. We had yeah. joked about this. <laughs> this is something we joked about, and I just didn't think it would actually happen. Like, I yeah. thought it was a really funny idea, and then I didn't prepare because I didn't think you would actually move See, the thing is, I was, I was actually going to shave my head, and then I talked to HR, because so, so where I work, you actually need, like, a swipe access badge and everything, and the picture is taken by the state. In fact, it's the same picture on your mm. driver's license. And I was joking, I think, in the lunchroom or something uh, with my supervisor that I was going to shave my head for a bit. I didn't Obviously, I didn't say, like, what the bit was. And she was like, oh, you might have to check with HR because they might have to issue a, you a new badge. Like, they might have to get your picture retaken. And I was like, I don't even know if that's true, but I don't want to deal with that yeah, at all. No. So then I went. That, that yeah, that's. I get it's a federal thing. I guess that's kind of weird how you can't drastically change your hairstyle <laughs> for but, an HR reason i mean my supervisor is sort of like very rules based so it's it's very possible that that's not true mm. but in my head i was like well now i'm gonna have to go to a third like a second person hopefully not a third person to to do that so yeah. you just don't like, commit to bits that well that's it yeah yeah well and then i've been taking a, an online course hustlers university yeah um Discord. no i've been taking i've been taking an online course and i just kind of didn't have time to prepare for the bit the jokes and stuff. Ah, oh, dude, it was good. It was good. It was all improv. Hey, I, I do. I, I do hate women. Right. I mean that 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 wasn't that was like part of the that, Sean part. Yeah, that, that wasn't the. Hold on. Let me uh, let me just get back into. I do hate women. Sean mode. You, dude, your hair looks like egg. Dude, your hair's I know. All <laughs> down, dude. Dude, I th- and then, dude, he has waves. Oh, dude, homie, wavy. Look at that, that guy. Wait, is that cultural appropriation? Yeah, I think so. A bit wavy right now. <laughs> I was so the lighting is down lighting instead of like here, yeah. so I don't know if this green screen is going to work too well. But I, I'll I'm, figure I'm, it out. I, I, yeah, we'll figure something out. Yeah, but I do want to get a light over my monitor to shine this way because I wanted to start. Do, I want to start doing actual stuff on my actual own. Like bits. bits. Yeah. Yeah. So I had this bit idea because I play a lot of Mario baseball in my downtime mm. as, instead of Pokemon for Ben, and um, I was doing. I thought about doing this bit where I was like either Mario or just the dad at a Mario baseball game. And it'd be like, it's baby Mario or baby Luigi swinging and Yoshi, like his special pitch is throwing an egg that bounces all over. And like, obviously it strikes the, strikes the kid out. And I just start screaming at the, um, because it's like, this is supposed to be fucking kids, <laughs> little league baseball. And he Dude, when I was, when I was younger, I played, I played football, basketball, and baseball when I was a kid. And I have some mm-hmm. funny stories about all of them, and I don't want to get too off track here. But I remember when I was playing baseball, I used to do this thing where, like, after my full swing through, instead of just letting the bat go, I would, like, throw it, right? Like, almost, like, frisbee it off the swing. And I got, like, kind of in trouble for that, right? Because, like, you know, kids throwing a metal bat. Yeah, and I'm a big dude, too. I'm fucking tall, and I was tall when I was a kid, too. Like, pretty goddamn tall i didn't have a so, gross birth i was 17 that's true. yeah i'm like i'm like six three right now and i think i like i was pretty young when i started to grow too yeah. <laughs> i don't know how else to yeah. say that yeah. without yeah, sounding you. fucking weird but the point is is like i was significantly bigger than other kids i was playing with and i was just throwing a bat um and so my, my dad took me to at the time blockbuster was still a thing and um sold video games 
And he said, he took me to like the sports section where like baseball video games were. And he said, I'll pick out any video game here. I'll rent or buy it for you. Just whatever you do, just watch how the players like swing the bat Mm. and let it go. Just Mm. use this video game to study because he kind of knew me. He knew what would get me into doing it. And so I chose this game called MLB Slugfest. Oh, that's that's 2002 or 2003. And if you're not familiar with what MLB Slugfest is, imagine baseball, but it's like WWE and like horror, like you can like light the ball on fire and like beat people up and like punch people to steal bases and like hit people with baseball bats. It's just kind of like all out carnage. Mm. In fact, I really wish they would reboot this game. Cause it like, I just unlocked this core memory yeah. of fucking MLB slugfest. Just thinking about this shit, man. But I just think it's so funny how my dad was like, you need to study this. Like you need to like study this to get better at baseball, son. And then I bought the game where you beat the shit out of people with baseball bats. Dude. I had- my dad was big into like coaching me and stuff for baseball because my dad really loves baseball. The thing is, I don't really think my dad knew how to coach a child. He's coached like, or not coached like professionally or anything, but like he played baseball in college. He loves baseball. He like, we used to play like together all the time when I was in Little League, but I don't think he's ever taught a kid. And like looking back, so I was always trying to like learn how to do like the curveball or the slider or, you know, all the like weird shit. And every time I'd like just I would only be able to throw the ball at one speed. I could throw pretty well as a pitcher or whatever, but and I would always like ask my dad to show me how to do a curveball. And he could throw a mean curveball. And he would just throw it. And his only advice to me ever was curveballs are slower than fastballs. So try to throw it slower. And I'm like, Dad, I'm throwing it like twenty five miles an hour. <laughs> like I can't go slower than this. <laughs> dude, I had a, when I was doing Little League, I had a dude um, who I would throw the ball and he would just make it. It was like a 10 year old kid. He would just make a random guess about how fast I was. I was doing it, but I would believe him with like my whole heart. I'd be, he'd yeah. be like, that's 90 miles per hour. I'm like, I can go faster than that, though. And I'd throw it. He'd be like, that was 110. I'm like, dude, that's so fast. I love it. I love being a kid when people would just make shit up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it, yeah. It, 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 I had, there's a bell curve with that where like as a kid, I was like, whoa, I believed yeah. in all of it. Yeah. And then I kind of found out looking back on some of that, that a lot of that shit was lies and I got pissed off. But now that I'm even older than that, I look back on being lied to like that as a kid. And I'm like, that was just fucking fun. Mm-hmm. I wish I could make yeah. shit up like that with the repercussions these days. Yeah. I, I remember, you know, the video game Call of Duty World at War. Oh, of course. Right? Great game. When when that game came out, I was still in school and I, I was I was younger. I don't know how old, but um, Nazi zombies, when that game mode mm-hmm. came out, that like kind of changed video games for a bit. And like everyone was playing it. And it was like a secret game mode, too. So you mm-hmm. had to like unlock it secretly. <clears throat> this kid at school. Was oh, wait, is that me. the one where the, with the coding, the green thing? Do you, you remember? remember what, what, like, there was... No, they, that, that you think it's. it's yeah, you're thinking of Black Ops with a different zombies mode. You're thinking of Dead Ops Arcade. Now okay. we're getting really in the weeds. Dead Ops Arcade and Black Ops. You had to like on the main menu, spam left and right trigger to break out of the chair, go to a terminal, and then enter in codes to get unlock the game. All right. But in, in the in the original World at War, you had to just beat campaign. But it was never a thing that was like listed on the menu. Yeah. You had to beat the entire campaign to like get that. Anyways, this kid at school was just like. Yeah, you know, like everyone's talking about zombies, and he's like, "Yeah." And if you get to level a hundred, you have to fight zombie Hitler, and it's so oh, hard. Yeah, yeah. And I remember being, I remember like genuinely believing that yeah. for like years, like way longer than it should have taken me. And then, like, I think later on in life, I just kind of forgot about it. And I was watching like a guy doing a world record run of, of the zombies or whatever, and he's at like level five hundred something. And I'm just watching it, and it clicked with me. I was like. Fuck that kid in school lied to me. Yeah, God yeah. damn it! I had so, I had a similar. Oh, oh no, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, little bitch, dude. You're not actually Andrew Tate. Um, so uh, well, he's not actually Andrew Tate. Oh, uh, what's this? What the gun number one, dude? <laughs> <laughs> um, I've never seen a vegan beat his girlfriend before. Do you think it's specifically a vegan? Stand- <laughs> 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 Wait, I just, yeah, okay. Uh, when I was, I would play Melee, Super Smash Brothers Melee. 
And I would people would tell me how to unlock characters that just did not exist. I was told that if you played the the adventure mode on very hard with one life and you survived without dying one time, you would unlock Mew as a character. That isn't a character you unlock yeah, in that game. It- because you couldn't fact check yeah, back then. Yeah, and like, it was I remember pre Google world was glorious. Yeah. I, I remember I remember being told as a kid, like I was like in third grade, um, you know, 2002, right? Is when Emerald came out, or like was that one, uh, one of those oh, three or yeah, something like that? Well, it's somewhere other. Yeah, but I remember. So let's see, that I was eight years old. So that's second grade. I remember an eighth grader told me that if you release Groudon and or Kyogre or Rayquaza that you can catch them in the wild infinitely. Like, they spawn, like, regular Pokemon. And, and you just dropped your Pokemon. I remember doing that, and I'd be like, oh, shit, I don't yep. have ground on anymore. Yep. Yep. Anyway, yeah, dudes, uh, uh, speaking of kids, um, uh, kids kids are made uh, men and by men and women, and men have balls. And today's sponsor, dude, is Manscaped. I'm probably going to show your fucking dick if you keep doing that, dude. <laughs> are you, you actually in underwear? Huh? You're in yeah, your I got manscaped. Well, yeah, I, I believe you have manscaped underwear, but you're only okay. Cool. <laughs> you just, he's committed to the bit. You can't even see that low until you say that. Until you did that, yeah. ladies. You know that little graph YouTube gives you for your demographic, where it's like ninety nine percent. You yeah. know, like ours yeah. is like ninety nine point nine percent men, like zero point zero one percent women. Yeah. Ours just went up a little bit. Yeah. Because of Sean's fucking sick hog, dude, just sitting in the you camera. You could run that back. If you wanted to do that bit, you could run that back and then just put like a uh, like a tan square over that area and just blur the shit out of it. Probably Ooh. look like it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you want me to stand up again? <laughs> what? Bro, you, you swallowed rat poison again? <laughs> Keep dying, dude. I, I, I choked one time on a fucking Dairy Queen blizzard and I haven't stopped. Today? It's so annoying, yeah. Do um, they still um do they still make Star Kiss bars? Is that like gonna be like a Star Kiss My Bar dick or something like no, that? No, 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 no. Do they still make Candace bars? Candace, <laughs> what's I've never heard of a Candace. I've can- never heard is, of a can- yeah, what's a Candace? What is, is Candace a Candace bar fit in your mouth, dude? <laughs> yeah. As an adult, yeah. It's as the a, water as as a, in, dude. Oh yeah, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, wait. Hold on. Candace bar wait, have you ever heard oh uh, have you ever heard of a Candace bar? No, what is a Candace bar? Candace bar fit in your mouth? No, what's a Candace bar? <laughs> you have so much liquid on your floor. <coughs> this is the worst show on the internet. <laughs> this, this, is the number one, this is the number one worst show on the internet. Hey, dude, my hair looks kind of thick though. The worst. Hmm? My hair looks kind of thick though, doesn't it? It looks kind of like yeah, yeah it looks, really it looks nice very sickly. Yeah. yeah I, I, dude, I showered for the first time in like six months the other day. <laughs> It was actually yeah, tonight. Good. And now I am proud of you for that. That you should get some points for that. Don't you, dude? Look at look at dude. Look at that. I have thick hair and I have eczema. You see my eczema? I got eczema. <laughs> how do you guys feel about eczema? I thought you had trichotillomaniasis. I have trichot- no, I have trichotillomaniasis as well, and I have I have eczema, and I also have a, I have this thing that I just learned is a thing, where if I uh, it's like a lazy eye if you don't use the muscles in your eye. <laughs> Yeah, I got a, a trichotillomaniasis, and I got eczema, and I got a lazy uh, eye, and I got I, a little bug that crawled in my head, and it tells me to burn things. Is this? Is this? Is it, I realize I can't do it. <coughs> I can't do a Kermit voice. Are you okay? No. What is wrong with you today? I, I choked. I choked on a blizzard, dude. I can't. I, I keep coughing. Dude, I can't do a Kermit voice. Oh, welcome, welcome to the Northeast, dude. <laughs> Hello. How do you <laughs> how do you do it? I, I can't do it. Um, when um, I, oh, um, I can't do it. You Jordan Peterson? Hello. Yeah. Um, I have a lazy eye in eczema and megalotrichomania and a little bug <laughs> crawled in my head and told me to and told me to do mean things to uh, Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy, I can't do it. I can do stitch. Miss Piggy. I, I think everybody can do stitch though. You just gotta close your throat. <laughs> I wish I could close your throat, Sean. I want to close up my fucking hands, bitch. Dude, um, these candy cigarettes, dude. Wait, oh, candy. You want to yeah, target? Just... No, no, they're... it's just called target. They come with different um, symbols on them. All right, well, give me give me three examples. No. Okay. So, <laughs> Zach, how are you doing? I'm all right. 
<laughs> oh, I'm doing. I'm, I'm. 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 I'm doing good. I got some stuff at, 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 at work that's on my mind a little bit, but you know, aside from that, I'm just. I'm just enjoying. I'm just enjoying life. Mm-hmm. The weather's changing out here in Phoenix, Arizona. It's. It's been raining and storming, and that doesn't typically happen. So I've been it's enjoying some of the story. weather. It's the old well, man no, but angels are bowling upstairs, and mommy oh. tells me God is angry the devil just, must be the devil must be slugging out with his wife huh that m M&M m line well that's uh that's a um it is a old-timey saying from like the american southeast it's like an alabama louisiana thing mm-hmm. it's from somewhere around there i might be off in the state specifically but it's like when the devil's beating his wife it means mm-hmm. that it's raining but the sun is out <laughs> mm-hmm. It's an old timey saying, dude. This is so funny. I like. I just. I'm. I'm enjoying very much the the actual like topic beginning and then it just falling flat. Like the uh, how you doing? Good. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I fucking love it, dude. Um. Yeah. I. I hear. I came here to talk about Halo Infinite. You guys. Uh. Any. In, any interest? No. Yeah, I mean, well, uh, the forge, <laughs> forge looks really interesting. I, I honestly, oh yeah, they should they good. should release it. Yeah, that would be a good. Here's next a step, hot actually. take. Yeah. Here's a hot take. Fucking put it out. Release Call the it a beta. fucking thing. Dude. I, 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 who gives a shit at this point? Your Sean looks honestly, terrifying. at this point, just <laughs> please zoom in. Can we get like a up nose shot really quick? Oh, down, yeah, go down. You gotta go down oh, there. You got a we booger, go. dude. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Booger in Thumbnail. there, dude. You got a fat Thumbnail. booger. <laughs> Andrew Tate has a booger, dude. <laughs> Episode eight. Andrew Tate has a booger. You see the booger? Welcome to, welcome to Watch Mojo's top 10 <laughs> regurgitated moments. Number eight. <laughs> dude. Andrew uh, Tate has a booger. The dude. last thing you want in Andrew Andrew Tate's nose is a booger. <laughs> but as it turns out, <laughs> that just might be what you get. Oh, dude. I farted. And it stinky. Dude, yeah, I, I wish I could just like pick Who up. is this for, toddlers? <laughs> I just, I, I, I wish I could pick up this microphone and just make sound and do it. Help! I'm calling. I said, I said last time. <laughs> I said last time that my the, the big goal I got to work towards with this show is like trying to find ways to make it actually funny. And I think we ended that episode and didn't like think about it at all until right, no, let's think right about now. Let's think about this. Let's think about this. All right. I so, have a bit. I have I have my bit prepared. I don't have a bit. Two. Um, but okay. I, I, but I have a big I, today, everything, yeah. everything in my life is off the dome. You know what I mean? I get a lot of top. That's you why know what I'm trying to say. What, yeah. No, you, I don't know what you're trying to say, but I know that's why you get the comments, dude. Right, yeah. <laughs> so, actually, speaking of the comment section of uh, our our Andrew yes. Tate short is great. It is genuinely awesome. So, but before I, I do want you to talk about that and elaborate that a little bit. But before we do, there was a comment we got before on a video that was like absolutely fucking nothing. And it was that guy who was going, so are you guys just trying to look stupid online yeah. for fun yeah. or, yeah. and I thought that was funny, right? Was, like that's funny. a hate comment, but it was like literally a nothing video. Wasn't political at all. Didn't take any kind of stance. It, it was just genuinely stupid. And like the, the shorts feed is so quick, right? You can just scroll right by. So to like see anything on the internet and to like, leave a hate comment to me is so funny because it must have really like gotten to you because yeah. i don't comment on anything no me neither and, and especially like a short but or a tiktok i think it's a, so, i think the thing is it's it's a it's a younger it's a younger demographic uh, but people I, have been doing it forever yeah but i've never but like, i very I, I as a fairly normal person i very i rarely comment on anything that isn't my friends like very rarely you know, yeah, but, but I, you have to think of like the dumbest person you know, and just know that half of the world dumber than that. True, the average like, stupidity is the average, and then there's a bunch of people dumber than that. But but this this guy though that I left guess. that comment, I hearted it because I think that's funny. A, if you leave some comment, I, oh, a, sure. like, I, go, go ahead. No, I'm just saying like I have some cringe content that people have commented, and I'm just like, yep. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Well, so, so this this guy leaves this comment. 
I think number one, it's just funny. And so I like it. And then number two, it's engagement. And I feel like if you leave the shitty comment and then the creator likes it, then, hey, maybe you'd feel bad about it or something. I don't know. And then I replied to it from the Clips channel account. And I just said, like, um, yeah, that's kind of the plan. And then he replies back with like, so you're trying to do a reverse Andrew Tate and then some shit about like being uneducated or something. And it's like, bro, bro, first of all, get a girlfriend. Yeah. First of all, get a girlfriend, take a breath. Right. Like I hate incels. I hate incels more than I hate women. I I don't know if this guy is an incel or not. I'm just calling him names right now. If you watch Andrew Tate, you're an incel. I wonder what he meant by that. It was not about, it was not about Andrew Tate at all. Again, like, please like find the context of whatever video this is. I think we posted about it in our like, discord chat here i think yeah. you can find all of it not too far of a scroll up but like the video itself was nothing just nothing. silly nonsense and then he replied with you just trying to look stupid online i said that's kind of the plan and he goes right into andrew yeah. Tate shit unprompted that to me is more concerning than him being popular let's, i don't give a fuck about him being let's popular. do a comment court right now comment court what did he mean by that was he saying uh, reverse andrew Tate is acting smart for views. No, so, so so people who people who usually invoke Andrew Tate think that he's a genius. Like that's sort of the half selling point right. of Andrew Tate is that because his dad apparently and uh, whatever I'm not gonna like dismiss that was like first of all his dad he said his dad worked for the CIA so immediately you should be like yeah I don't I don't know but maybe that's the paranoid fucker in me but like the minute someone's like I'm related to the CIA I'm like that's a psyop immediately well. like. Uh, Your government experiment. I, I just I I can't and then and then but so his dad is like a world class apparently chess. Uh, I, like, I'm not even gonna do like the alleged. I just don't know, but it seems to be validated that he is like a world class chess champion. And Andrew Tate learned from him, and Andrew Tate is also in some state like state champion. I, I you know, and he's obviously a good kickboxer. He knows how to fight, but he sells this idea that he's like literally a genius and all he has to do is say that and you get the like if you have like 10,000 subscribers or like a a million subscribers or if you have like six Bugattis which he has I guess like it's just sort of like this assumed authority and it just it just snowballs from there like people just get convinced and so when he says are you doing a reverse Andrew Tate he's like oh you guys are being bad like he, oh, he was, I think, he, he think that he was endorsing Andrew Tate in that comment. Oh, for sure. I think. I oh, yeah, one hundred percent. If you watch the video, honestly, I don't mean to call someone out and 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 dig this deep in the comments and just call some random dude out that doesn't deserve it. But if you click on his profile, all of his videos are him kicking and punching, punching bags. <laughs> That's his whole channel. Is just Ooh. videos of him in a basement hitting for, a punching bag for Ooh. a while. All my videos were asthma treatment videos. <laughs> <laughs> we right. all have our things. Right, but Sean, you could be the Andrew Tate of <laughs> asthma. <laughs> Instead of a cigar, it's just like women, huh? I and mean, it's just like <laughs> actually just you okay. So if you want to be happened? gay or what you want to do, yo, look at this whole fucking green screen, dude. It's it's massive. Is that the Elgato one? Yeah, uh, no, it's whatever the cheap. It's like people also looked at, and it was like a hundred dollars less or something. Let me go to Amazon. Yeah. This is the um. This is the dream scenario for the future we were talking about, right? Where it's like we'll we'll all have green screens and cameras and shit. We'll just pretend like we're in a multicam studio or something. Yeah, there we go, dude. And I, I'm pretty sure like Zoom has that it's, capability, doesn't it? It's called the Emart green screen. Emart. <laughs> Welcome to the Regurgitated Podcast, coming at you, coming to you live from Fiji. Put some Ooh. like maraca sounds. I can or, do whatever you want, Sean. I can do. I can throw you in Fiji. I I, I wanted to leave. Put that him up in hell. Your, I wanted to leave that up to your discretion. I thought it would be funny. You, I feel like you'd find something funny. Should I just put him? Uh, should I just put his background as his background? That'd be pretty I didn't funny. Do anything? What the fuck? Oh, it's because I. Put him in a put him in a bowl of gazpacho soup. Put him in. I'll put, I'm gonna put him in a. I'm gonna put him in a toilet paper roll. At looking at a poopy guy, a guy pooping. Put him in a. Put him in a. Is he asleep? Wake up! Oh, huge no more green screen. Is his own background. <laughs> oh, fuck. He's in Discord City. Why is your arm so green, bro? Why is it getting 
Wait, locked wait, up. Is my arm green? What? No. Let's see what else does Discord offer me. I like I like when people just make emotions, but nobody speaks, so it's just like. Oh, hold on, dude. I mean, here's a bit. Here's a here's a bit just for the audio listeners. Hold on, dude. I gotta just hack this guy real quick. Dude, Can we why, do some ASMR? Why don't you have any back knee, bro? Jump off a bridge. Get some back knee. It's like I'm fucking, I'm fucking Jack, dude. I got some back knee. I got two. Dude. Right here. Dude, Sean's fucking showing off this episode. He's really uh. Dude, what, uh, uh the, the first time I saw Sean, or maybe not the first time, but one of the first times I saw Sean after high school, and he went to college for whatever fucking years, and and then I just see his uh his YouTube channel, and he's just fucking ripping shit, and he's fucking skinny but looks buff as shit. Very it's just cool. like zero body fat. I have almost no muscle. I mean, I, I, I'm able to like move weights, I think more than the average person going into a gym. But the thing is like, I'll work out for like six months at a time and get relatively strong at something. Like I was able to deadlift, like, I mean, 250 pounds for a deadlift is not much, but like, it feels like a lot when you're doing it. Yeah. And then I just don't work out for like a year. I yeah. kinda, actually, in that way, I'm sort of like Andrew Tate. Okay. But, that that's of- honestly my problem too. I, I I felt so bad. I found a picture of myself yesterday from two years ago when I was like on a pretty strict diet and working out like four to five times a week, and I was like, God damn, I looked so fucking good. And then I just like looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, Yo, yeah, what, well, the, f- what the fuck am I doing <laughs> with my life? Yeah, I I, 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 also- I wish that I had the motivation to do something like that. I, I'm hoping that when I move out of this house do- and I don't have to deal with any fuckers in this house because I'm moving out fairly soon, month two months. I want to move out because I don't want to deal with any of the fuckers downstairs judging me what I'm doing at my, cause my brother does, you know, he's like, there's the strong man shit and he judges every move I make when I try to do anything physical. He'll walk into my room, say that my diet's not good. He'll, when I would try to do anything downstairs, whether it just be cardio, he'll make fun of that. He'll make fun of my, how I do pushups. I just wanted him to fuck off. I just want him to fuck Are off. Are we going to have an online beef with your brother? I, I actually yes. wanted to suggest something. Uh, who? Because I, I, you. Okay. Uh, well, no, well. Uh, let me rephrase that. I had this idea for something that I wanted to do, and I wanted to know if you wanted to be included. Maybe this could be a, a podcast thing. Um, but I, Haley, and I were looking at there's like a game. It's I think it is for the Switch. It is for the Switch. Ring it's fit. like a fit ring fit. Yeah. And I didn't know if you wanted to because I know you off and on will talk about wanting to do something. And I figured Ring I would fit it is apparently really hard. Like, act, like it, it can get oh, very really? difficult. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I don't. I don't want to. But I. I'm, no, I'm I saying I'm down. At, I'm not saying I'm not. And I'm, I'm. 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 I'm saying I'm down. I'm. I, I'd be super down to do whatever you want to do with Ring Fit. But, but it's not just like a game to. No, I mean it has eat. like that ring, and you got to go like that. It's like the shake weight kind of deal. Well, yeah, but I've seen people do like it's like a, there's a, like bosses that you have to fight where yeah. like you have to do like thirty yeah. squats or something to beat the boss or some yeah. shit like yeah. that. Yeah, there was that. Um, you know, it's actually a harder game than that though. Is uh, the fuck was that game on the on the on the iPhone that you had to like swipe and it was like Eversword or something like that? You guys remember what I'm talking about? No. There's like three of them. It was like a trilogy of like. Are you recording? A recording. He's he's filming me, dude. This is going this is going in my cringe compilation. Hey, dude. Wait, hold on. Wait, let's I wanna we should have that as I don't a, think I ever sent you actually I think last episode. That was some nice feet, bro. That's not free. <laughs> I think last episode, um, I took pictures of like the um, bottles yeah. in my like setup, and I don't think I ever sent those I to you. I think I cut out the piece that you took the pictures. I think it was awkward. Are I you actually watch. taking pictures of them? I don't care, but is that actually what you're doing? Can you wait? What you should do, Zach, is you should. I, I, you I should, really. You yeah, should. I actually do not care. So it's. I just, you should take a picture. You should do your whole. I'm taking a picture from a cringe compilation. We can use that. We can splice that in different places. Go ahead. That's fine. <laughs> Have fun in the editing room, Ben. <laughs> so, uh, how are we feeling about uh, uh, Mar a Lago? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I your taste. Actually, <laughs> speaking of news, I I have a whole news segment prepared. I want to try out. Okay, I just saw um, all I your have notes. a new bit. Um, I have this much stuff prepared. Look at this. 
Did you prepare this much? No, but you know what you were supposed to do, Zach? Motherfucker, right, dude. Write a stand-up set? N- no. Well, I forgot about that, well, too. I got, I, got, I got some jokes for you, dude. If you need to do a stand-up set right now, I, I have jokes on my phone. <laughs> like, you're just going to Google jokes? I got jokes. Hey, you got jokes on your phone, dude? <laughs> yeah, I basically... I've been thinking about... I think I told Ben this. I definitely posted it in the, the Discord. I've been thinking... Oh wow! Cool, 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 cool. I, <laughs> <laughs> I've been. Right. I honestly have been trying to like will myself to actually just do an open mic night once. Not because I have any dreams of or aspirations of being like a professional comedian, but like I do like doing that, and I do think of jokes throughout the day. Mm. And I think it would be. I think it would be a good, not even confidence booster, but just like an actual thing that I can say I tried. Yeah. You should. I've done open mics before. I I, I did stand up comedy for like oh, really? a year or two. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ben's seen a video of me doing it at like seventeen. Mm-hmm. I, I I did it when I was seventeen years old, and then I felt really nervous about it. And then from like twenty nineteen to twenty twenty, I would do it like once or twice a week for like a year. Yeah. Um. And then and then COVID hit, and I haven't done it since. I want to do it again. I've been writing some ideas down and thinking about it, but like I'm kind of I, I want to do it. Like I genuinely want to. Yeah, I'm we- just a bit of a social train wreck and it makes me feel nervous. So I need to get back into it. Sean, we talked about that last episode. I think it was last episode where we were like, we were talking about like having like a whole uh, bit where we just do what stand up routines. Cause you, cause Zach, you'd be good. And that line would be trash. I think I also it would fun. help me. Cause like <laughs> I, I, I genuinely want to do stand up again. I want to show up to an open mic night yeah. and just yeah. do it again. But I like, I haven't gotten myself to actually do it. And so what I'm saying is if you give me a time, line on it and like hey we're gonna have need to have something prepared by the next episode might not be good but it would actually help me like get some shit done you want to do if, do if we could say the, the, the next next episode i could have some stuff on my end to prepare too sure. but i don't want to take over i don't want to take over if that's like a do thing. you want to ne- next next episode do a do a whole open mic night on on episode yeah, I would. Yeah, I would sure. be down to do. Would we'll do a battle of the comics? Because, I mean, I, I literally do have a phone full of jokes that I I still need to flesh out. But yeah. I have a. I've been using my task cam in my car. Yeah, that's. And um, oh, and I just I'll, I'll yeah I'll pick like two or three jokes and just repeat because it's a forty minute drive. Yeah. Until <clears throat> until I get like the right inflections and stuff down. Yeah. I think that. Do you might- want to hear? Do you want to hear a sneak peek out of my stand up routine? Uh, notepad. Just, yeah, just a yeah, quick yeah. little is teaser. It the, is it the spanking one? No, I said that in the last one. Right. Here's a here's a teaser out of my joke notebook. Too excited to play the quiet game. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have um, pretend sorry. my ass is your dad and beat it. <laughs> that's so that's all you get. Hold on, yeah. Let me show, let me show you let me show you this note that I I literally have no title for this note. Let me turn off this fucking dumbass green screen. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It says, it says keeping my ear to the pelvic floor, <laughs> like keeping your ear to the ground or the floor hearing stuff. I don't know. We're, we're, we're I feel like the, what I feel like the, I the get thesis, it. I get it. The, the thesis of this show of this whole entire podcast is just the monkey theorem, right? Of like, if you put uh, monkeys in a room with typewriters and give them an infinite amount of time they could write any mm. piece of literature in existence I feel like that is literally this show where it's like I, we're just going to put three monkeys in a room with microphones <laughs> and eventually <laughs> like like some gold will mm. come out of it yeah I also had this idea of um, like facts that are real but make you sound high or you remember them when you're high so everyone knows that you are high when you say them so for instance like it if someone, if you're all just like smoking or drinking in a group and someone goes, did you know that it can be too hot for a plane to fly? And everyone's just like, oh, this guy's fucking like wasted. <laughs> but like, it's, it's just actually true. Honey that, is more viscous than, or ketchup right, is more viscous exactly. than honey. Yeah. Whoa. Right. Yeah. And, and then like, it's so mundane, but like weird enough that people are like, oh no, this guy's like fucking trashed. I actually, uh, I actually do have to like wash them. Go, go do your fucking party. dishes, dude. Go do your fucking dishes. I can bring my phone, dude. If that's if that's podcast. Do you want, do you want to do, you want to do your like commentate? Do, do we want to commentate him doing dishes? I'm, I sure, dude. For, wait, what? You don't actually want that. You don't Look, want. Dude, it. Here, <laughs> here's where we are at a at a constant. This is where 
actually commentating doing dishes is <laughs> on a scale of are you content. coming back? Are you are you are you coming back, Sean, or are you dipping? I will not. Day? I will not be able to come back. All right, dude, go do your dishes, you pussy ass bitch. I hate women, though. It was good knowing you. High five, brother. It's pretty good. Now do that at a different angle, dude. Oh, high five. Oh, wait. Would it, oh wait. Who would it, it would be here for you, right? Here, high five. I'm Andrew Tate. See you, Kyle. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Sean, for being on the podcast. Oh, I can't believe you got Andrew Tate on the show. I can't that's wild. Andrew Tate. That's the yeah, that's that's, fr- that's freaking wild. Dude. Crazy. It was actually uh, pretty cheap. It was, it was on Cameo. I guess they got to in contact with him. I had something I wanted to talk to you about, and I don't remember what it was. Do you remember what it was? Oh, so you are the person that did the terrorist attacks on 9-11. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the fuck that meant. I have no idea what the fuck that meant. Is that what you wanted to talk to me about? No, I don't remember what I wanted to talk to you about. I really like these shirts, though. The 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 the, the texture is really quite nice. And if you follow us on any social media and you, you if I prove it, you get a free shirt. It's kind of sick. No, it's if you subscribe to oh, the main just, channel and subscribe. send me something. Because here's the thing. Here's the, I thought about stuff like that, too. And I was like, yeah, that that matters. But like, what are we really trying to get yeah. out of this whole thing? Yeah. Right. It's like subscribers on the main channel. I'm not concerned about subscribers on the clips channel. It's grown. Yeah. Like triple the speed that the main channel has. Yeah. Right. Like, I don't give a shit about how many people follow us on Twitter. It's how many people are actually watching the main shit. Yeah. So if you subscribe to the main, unless you disagree with this, this is a, this is not just a me. This is not my show. You good. Right. So. I, I, I would say the the deal is subscribe to the main channel, screenshot proof. We have a Twitter that you can send a screen a screenshot to. You know what I mean? Or any of our personal yeah, Twitters. And I think the oh, DMs T- the, are open on Twitter too, right? DMs should be open on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that might be the only one. We have a TikTok too, but I don't think you can send screenshots on TikTok. Yeah. So eh. we don't have an Instagram yet. Maybe we should. I don't fucking know. Um, if you want to blackmail us, uh, it's it's shitty. I don't like it, but I think it's useful. The only, um, the only reason I, I have in, uh, Instagram installed anymore is to, to look, watch my girlfriend's story because she's pretty. That's it. Ooh, she, yeah, I hear that. I, I don't care about it. I, I have it installed literally for that reason. If she wants to send me a cringe TikTok that, you know, that they have the re-upload the cringe TikToks on yeah um, i um well yeah that, honestly that's why i hate instagram the most is it's always just kind of like repurposed content yeah, like i yeah. feel like i find the least original content on instagram i want to find oh i like my instagram page because it yeah. makes me feel like a baller yeah, yeah. i like I mean, mine, i was like chronographing my life chronologicalizing my yeah. life mine's kind of trash i'm pretty <laughs> sure because i don't really have a life so it's kind of it's hard to yeah it's just it's just pictures of my girlfriend and my dead cat so W. Dude, follow me on Instagram. Fucking uh, find me. I'm I, somewhere. I, I literally only follow Alex. No, honestly, that's cute. Keep it that way. <laughs> what happened to Chemical Paint? Um, actually, do you want to get into to to because the the story of why Chemical Paint in the first place I think is actually interesting. Um, hmm. I think a lot of people think it's kind of like a Xbox randomly user like like a computer generated thing. It's not. Yeah. And hold on. Before we get into it, I feel like we're this is super just us know what, what's going on. Maybe maybe it's probably the only people that are viewing this you know it's going okay, on. Let's provide Chemical some Paint, context for this. As far as I'm aware, was your tag is my until, username until recently, so fairly recently, right? Yeah, yeah, and certainly like my like gamer tag on Xbox is still Chemical Paint. It's not been yeah. completely thrown away, but like publicly facing stuff is no longer yeah. chemical paint. It's either my real name or Zach 70 show is kind of what it is right now. But um, chemical paint, believe it or not, was the name of my imaginary friend when I was like three to five years old. And I don't know why a young child named uh, their imaginary friend chemical paint, but there's a whole backstory and lore. It's a college kid from Alaska that drove a pink convertible down to pick me up and hang out with me, which maybe is concerning. Yeah, you can get uh, some if you're a parent to hear that. trauma, dude. <laughs> but that was the name of my imaginary friend when I was a yeah. kid, and that's why it became everything. Um, I, I feel like it also, like, it, it, 
currently it's spelled with a Y because my accounts got hacked when I was younger, and I just feel like it kind of looks like a. I feel like it's just kind of nonsense. I like yeah. the the tagline Zach seventy, so I find it interesting. So so the the that and that fucked off only because it just was not really. It can really tie. It I back don't to hate you. it. I think it has a fun like story behind it and everything, but it's just like you know. You grow out I, of I, that I feel shit. like I. Yeah. I mean, I, I just, certainly I didn't believe it was an imaginary yeah, friend anytime yeah, recently, yeah. but um, I there's not really a particular reason behind it. I just thought it was better for like branding and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I did. I went through so many gamer tags and, and, and names on like YouTube and shit. I went through so many because like, I couldn't find one that I liked. And then I just came to a point where I'm like, yeah, I'll just make it my name. Just like a short <laughs> version of my name. Um, but there was fucking my one of my first ones was Lone Soldier 3000 whoa right uh i look out your high school when (laughs) when i uh when i um i got halo one for pc and i was really excited to name myself lone soldier and then youtube that was when you couldn't make a name that was you know you had to have a a, a unique name uh so i put 3000 at the end i think i actually youtube did that for me i was like oh you want to do three lone soldier 3000 instead and i said okay and then i did um I had uh, QS Thrive was one of my tags because I was I, I made a clan called Quicksilver where only three people were in Pog, and that that account still exists. And I hacked Gamer Score into it. It has like fifty thousand Gamer Score because I hacked Gamer Score into it. You hacked Gamer Score. You could do you could put your Xbox profile on a USB drive, op- open it in a program, and you could just hack your Gamer Score. Can it's you still so do this? I doubt it. I can't believe that there's, <laughs> there's still that remember- naive. I remember back on the 360, there was all sorts of wacky shit you could do like that. Yeah. People had like JTAG, Xboxes and everything. But like the coolest thing for me is DNS servers. Yep. You could enter in like custom DNS servers and get in the modded lobbies on yep. Xbox that one. So uh, that's also how I used to play Halo 2 when the server shut down. People created their own DNS servers for Halo 2 and you could put it in. Mm. And, yeah. Fun fact. That's how I got recon. Is hacking my achievements. You I can, got it legit, you fucker. And then so, my account got hacked, which okay. is how I had to change the chemical paint from an I to a Y. Here's, here's, I was very almost legit. And I, to this day, I have completed all the uh, vid masters. I want to say I have redeemed myself. I, I got to literally the last enemy on endure. I, and I know that this, this sounds like a fake story that you, that, that's like 13 year old telling like a, in like a, a recess. I got to the last enemy on endure one person alive. And he dies. And so I was like, that was good enough for me. And I hacked it in. Fun fact, you can uh, hack in achievements and you can assign dates and times to them, which means that they're an online achievement. And if you have any offline achievements for Vidmaster, that doesn't count towards recon. I had to modify. I had to change the uh, achievement that I got to say online achievement. To get to get the recon. Um and then uh, there was one, there, there was a second one that I hacked that was like, you had to play in like the seventh of the month or something. And I just couldn't be fucked away. Um, you can change the date and time on your Xbox and that get it. I'm would have sure. been easier and less sketchy. I'm sure. Um, so I'd kiss thrive. And then I had literally How would you feel if you got like banned right now after this episode aired on what Xbox halo. I don't know. Like QS Thrive, I don't use anymore. But if I was just banned on on, I would just be like, "You're perma banned from I'd any say, video games." Keck W Poggers, I'm making a new account. Um, and then my, the one after that, though, the one after QS Thrive was home code, and then my the code to my home security system at the time. That's dangerous. Why did I do that? Tell me why I did that. I don't no, know why you're I did that. fucking stupid. I can tell you why you did that. And then uh, I realized that was stupid. And then I changed my name to Bio Shaleout 3. It was Bio, a mixture of Bioshock, Halo, and Fallout. Bio Shaleout. I never played through Fallout, first of all. And I played only most of, of Bioshock. I played a lot of Halo 3, though. Um, and then I got the current account, my Ben Impact account from Evan. Uh, it was his actually. I think it was like a, a sub account on his Xbox uh, called Raise My Dongers, and now it's now I changed it to Ben Impact. But um, yeah, it's I went. Pretty, oh, it's a pretty old internet culture meme. Raise, raise my, my dongers. Dongo. Raise um, my dongers. I also had uh, on RuneScape. I had Naruto Man ninety three. <laughs> 
And I had Darkoman93 at Lycos.com. That was my old email that doesn't exist anymore. Whoa, dude. Dude, it looks like your eye is bigger than the other one. That's crazy. Dude, what is your prescription? I don't fucking know. What do you mean? What do you mean? Do you want, do you want the numbers or like what kind of near farsighted I am? The numbers, I guess. Are you near farsighted? I don't have my near numbers. Near fighted or so. sighted? I'm fart sighted. Fart sighted? <laughs> yeah. No, uh, I um, I am near sighted and have a stigmatism. Ooh, a stigmatism. I don't know what that means. It means that one of your eyes is less focused than the other. Oh. I think. But um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Glasses are relatively new to me. Actually, I have a, I have a, I have a, a story about this. So when I was younger, I went to an eye doctor hmm. and they sat me down and they put me in the machines and they ran the tests and they said, oh, well, I think you need glasses. And I was like, you mean like reading glasses or all the time glasses? They're like, we think you need all the time glasses. I didn't want to wear them. I was afraid. I thought I looked stupid in them. I still kind of think I look stupid in them. Um, but I give them a fair and honest shake. I show up to school the next day wearing glasses. It doesn't help that I was also wearing like a turtleneck too and like some, some khaki. So I'm looking very Steve Jobs going to school. And the teacher says, I think you need to take those glasses off. Mm-hmm. And I said, no. And she's like, take those glasses off right now. And I said, I just got, no. I said, I just got these glasses. I just got prescribed glasses. And she said, well, you better wear them every day now. And I said, well, I'm not doing that either. And she said, well, you're either making fun of disabled people or you need to wear them every day. And you said option a bitch. <laughs> well, I said, I'm not going to wear them anymore. And so like, I already didn't want to wear them as a kid. And then mm. keep on, I, this was in West Virginia. Mm. I was living in like rural West Virginia at the that time, too. So this is not some like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. she can just kind of say shit and yeah. get away yeah. with yeah. it yeah. and yeah. they can yeah. be yeah. backwards in their ways. And so, yeah, I just didn't wear glasses again until, you know, I, I work from home now. I do all my shit online and I stare in front of computer screens all day mm. for a living and, you know, for fun, for fun and everything else, too. And it just got to the point where I was like really trying to read shit like i didn't even really think i need glasses either i just was getting headaches and i was just getting strained and then i went to a walmart a wally world and they Mm. have those little test reader glasses on Mm. and i put them on just jokingly like haha look at me in glasses this is like a year and a half ago at this point put on the glasses and i'm like oh fuck oh shit things look things look yeah, yeah, <laughs> right? things like things better, look. Yeah, yeah. and um i took them off and i was like okay things are a little bit blurry now but my eyes will readjust and then like two days later i was like shit <laughs> things yeah, still yeah. look a little things still look a little fuzzy so I, I don't wear glasses all the time even though i should still but like because i do my work online it's most of the time yeah I, i'm i'm my vision's just dying and working from home is not helping I be, so I have a bad I have bad contrast control with my eyes. Uh, if it's dark uh, and there's a bright light, I am blinded completely. Like I don't I don't have I I can't I don't get night vision. So we were oh, I don't get I don't get night vision either. If that makes you feel any fucking better. If so, one time Alexis and I were driving through someplace in Connecticut. And it was a little bit rainy, and I couldn't find the middle the, the center of the road. I couldn't find the yellow line. I had she had to point it out to me. It's, I don't have good. That's scary. So it was switch, switch out, let her drive. Yes. Let her drive. So the, um, what, what are you, Andrew? Were you inspired by the Andrew Tate? I can't, Tate I can't dude. I can't oh, let a yeah, woman drive. Just let the woman drive. Yeah. Oh, what um, the? But so it was rainy and it was, it was, a, I, I felt like it was extra bright, but I could, I could just be dumb. Um, the, the, the stoplight was green, obviously. Or the thing was green, and uh, I couldn't see the ground. Did your uh, white screen? YouTube device? just signed me out. Said you were signed out of this device. I don't know what happened. Yeah, you got hacked by some dude in Ukraine. I'm sorry. Does anyone watch this shit? Like, <laughs> we're, 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 I'm spending. I'm spending money. I'm spending money to get Speaking people. Of, dude. 
on board with this giveaway thing but then the the thing is 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 shit though yeah the 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 the, the product is not we a- will we will make this better i have a bit i have a bit planned i have this whole news bit planned and i will genuinely make this higher effort is that next time we come around to do this is that Bit. I'm going to read the news. That's the bit. Right. But is the news going to be relative only to right now? Or is it going to matter in two weeks? I think it'll still be good enough for two weeks. But I do. You did say you were spending money, right? Oh, I'm spending money on giving away this. If you sub- if genuinely again, if you subscribe to the channel and send us a screenshot proving it, I will buy you one of these yep. and send it to you. So and I'm not going to put a limit on how much I could just send it to one person. If, if, if like, right, like if uh, 10 people subscribe, I might buy 10 people t-shirts. I might buy one person a t-shirt. It's all, it's all up in the air. Depends it's on how much money I have. Right. So get it <laughs> quick, bitch. Um, um, so speaking of spending money though, uh, you were going to buy me a gag gift for a bit and you didn't. What are you a woman? I didn't say I would actually do it. Now, now, do never call me the naughty word. <laughs> um, I was, man, I was if there's some, any female viewers on this, man, Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ, this episode is a rough one. I was this six, episode's a rough one because we keep referencing back to the pit. Uh, okay, on slash unstopping sarcastic. Now we love our ladies. We dude, love our ladies, don't we? We love you. I have a mom. Anyways, back into the pit. Fucking! If I see you driving a goddamn car, <laughs> uh, dude, this is the podcast that ends our career. That's crazy. Um, when when Sean started leaning into, I, I knew he'd do the bit, and I know he leans into it, right? But yeah. like, there was a couple things he said right off the bat that I was like, "And I'm gonna clip that." <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Play that at your wedding. Uh, it's so good. Um, so. Um, this show will get good. I will die. I I, I, I was going to say I'll die before this show gets the thing good. Is, that, that doesn't make sense. The thing is, I don't have a life, so it's hard to tell stories about your life and like talk about, and I'm not funny. Well, <laughs> so, a lot of what problem. goes on, so a, a lot of my time currently has been focused on like my job for reasons I can get to off of the air, obviously. Mm-hmm. But, it, you know, that's cool. I like what I'm doing, but I can't, but the nature of what I am doing, I can't really like talk about a lot of it publicly on pause and TikTok. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ben Paquette, I stopped you for that, dude. <laughs> point is is i'm not i'm just like th- that's what a lot of my time has been focused on recently so when you ask me like how is my week like this week in particular has just been pretty much like the fuck am i doing about this at work yeah, right yeah. and i'm a just not going to come in here in the podcast and just bitch about like my work life and then secondary to that it's also like even if i wanted to do that it's like i can't yeah either so it's difficult for me to like say that now there are times where that's not true but that's why i want to prepare bits but honestly with We'll talk more off the air about my my my, my personal life and time management yeah, and shit. Yeah. But like, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I we'll prepare bits. That's the thing. We we definitely need bits because I don't. Like I said, I don't do anything. I don't go anywhere. I don't really have a life, and I'm only sort of funny. So with those all those things in mind, it is hard to be funny for an hour and a half to two and a half hours. Uh, consistently and we also only have gotten one guest on so far you got andrew tate two guests on so far my fault yeah so but uh I, you know i'm trying yeah i mean yeah you know who we need to get on the podcast we need to just get some like dude with like two subscribers two or three subs a little bit more than we got right now to you know a few viewers um yeah, no, I mean, we, I think we just need more. We need people to reach out. Should I on the on the on the channel just start subbing the really small YouTubers and just sending messages? Do the sub for sub meme? If you, if you, no, if, not sub for sub. Guest for guest, more like it. Ooh, not sub well, for if, sub. What if we get like? What if we get like some of those people though? 
Premium. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that shit looked rank, dude. That shit did not look good. Wanna like browse Twitter with me? You wanna oh shit, wait, hold on. There you go. Look at that. Why why are you doing this? Oh what? Why no, nothing, this? dude. Why apparently uh, Adam kicked my dog twice. Kicked your dog, dude? Yeah, walk in. so he have he walked out while it was dark and he kicked the dog by accident. The dog got mad and then he went into the bathroom, walked back out of the bathroom, avoided that spot, and the dog was in the spot that he, he had to walk around it. Yeah. You can't kick a fucking dog, dude. Check it out. <laughs> she loves it. She loves any attention just to give her. Put just splice in like a pita ad or right here. Um, Sarah McLaughlin. Ah, uh, copyright. I was gonna say yeah. in the arms. Yeah, 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 we're gonna get, we're gonna get, dude. We're gonna get demonetized. So where's all the money gonna go? Um, <laughs> um, paying for subscribers, apparently. <laughs> uh, we need a view butt or something, dude. Oh, you feel me? Let's just bought the fucking channel. My huh? dog. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Let's get a car piece of cardboard and write like "will work for subs" or something. Oh, where? Pretend like we're homeless. Oh, like, hmm? but like online, we do this or like, like in person? Yeah, like for an episode. Yeah. We just stand there. Yeah. I mean, you and Sean can get together and maybe get a clip of you on a corner holding a sign, maybe. Dude, it was, it's seeing him shirtless, I want to get together with him right now. <laughs> seeing that underwear? Seeing that manscaped underwear? I think we're about to have to, I think we're about to, I think we're about to have to freaking move this podcast into freaking Pornhub, dude, <laughs> instead of this. I mean, with my dog eating her vagina, fucking horribly loudly behind me, bro. Oh, want to hear a funny story? I was uh, laying down. My dog always sleeps on my bed. What if I said no? I would move on. <laughs> I want to hear a funny story. <laughs> um, so I was laying. I was laying down in my bed, and my dog always sleeps with me. And she was on her back, and she was like whisper barking, like. Bleh. And I'm like sleeping. I'm like, you're so annoying. She does it a few times because if a window's open, she's probably smells something outside. And so I start kicking her head. And then I slowly realize in my being half asleep, I'm actually just kicking her in the vagina over and over again. I thought it was her head, but it was her vagina. Just like in my days, my, my days sleep, I'm just kicking between her. What I thought were, were her front legs, but it were her back legs. Get canceled, dude. I just kicked. I kicked the fight with talk in her vagina multiple times. Fuck your dog. Fuck your dog right in the pussy. <laughs> oh shit, dude. Yeah, I mean, listen, dude, it's been it's been a rough week, let me tell you. It's been a rough one for me. I know I, I I'm moving jobs and I'm just so sick of my current my current job. And I, today was the last day, thank God. But I'm just so miserable working at that at work, working this week. I was so fucking miserable. And actually, fun fact, funny life update. Um uh, so I'm calling Monday, the starting Monday is going to be phase three of my life. So phase with <laughs> a fucking Ben cinematic yeah, universe. Yeah, yeah. So phase one was until I got the job that I have now. I phase as, one is infancy. If yeah, infancy until I was like 22 phase one. Okay. My awkward stage. Uh, the, the awkward, awkward stage, stage part two has been the last like four so years, right? In phase three, mm -hmm. I on Monday starting a new job. I'm going to be moving out soon, and I'm starting therapy for the first time in my life. Hell yeah, dude! Let's go. I've been to therapy before. I I don't normalize therapy. I, men, I, mental health. We're gunning for that better health sponsorship. <laughs> I I uh, I I made, I made a bet with Alexis. I was like. How much do you want to bet I'm going to cry in my first therapy session? Because I've never done it before, so I'm not going to like know what to expect emotionally. It, it, p p potentially, um, this might be not completely accurate because I've only been to like one therapist in my life. But the first therapy session, to my knowledge, is typically like a discovery session. Like it's not really getting too much into details. It's more of like fact finding and like learning and seeing what fits yeah. you like i don't think you'd get jumping into it and immediately like oh yeah so trauma you know. <laughs> trauma yeah. i mean you can but like yeah. 
you get what I'm saying that I think like if you have, if you're trying to have like a relationship with a therapist, you're not just doing some one-off thing. Yeah. I think a lot of times your first one is more of like, a, let's get to know each other. Let's fact find about some stuff. Yeah. Create a game plan, etc. Yeah, I, I'm I'm a bit nervous. Co therapy, goddamn it. That's based. I, I I'm a bit nervous. I, I I specifically chose a psychiatrist. So if I if she thinks that I'm That's in genuine need of a medication, medication that I can be prescribed such. Um, but I I mostly my my big thing is I want to be nailed down what my problems are. <laughs> like I Jesus want, Christ, I want to be just nailed like. Um, just or like sexually, um, but I want my problems to be nailed down. Like I want to know, like if I, I mean, obviously I have anxiety, but I want to know what kind of anxiety disorder I have, what kind of depressive disorder I have, what kind of attention disorder I have. You know, uh, I feel like maybe you're setting yourself up for failure by automatically describing these things as disorders. I never thought of that. What if I'm like OP and everything? I just don't know it. <laughs> Look, I'll just say this. A lot of people, especially men in this day and age, are not conditioned to process emotions like this. Okay. Yeah, our buddy earlier. A lot of people. Go ahead. Our buddy earlier, Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate. Yeah. He's someone that could, yeah. would love to go to therapy. Yeah. A therapist's dream. Yeah. Put it, you really. know, a- a- Andrew Tate, when he finally decides to go to therapy and put in the money, money, money song, mm. um, or got a bag or whatever the fuck that yeah. song is. I, a lot of people that I know jump right into medications and everything. That's fine. Medications help out a lot of people, but like, there's a lot of shit that's just incredibly difficult to process. It could take months, if not years of just working through some shit you didn't need to know. You didn't even know you had to work through mm. and you don't, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that, that that's work that you could do before you just jump to, I have this disorder. I need a medication. Right. But a lot of people just put themselves right in that environment and can't get out of it. I've always, something you got to be careful with. I've always liked the, and I know that this therapist would not be down for this, but I've always liked the idea of like publicizing something as, as deep as that without getting into like, you know, like Dr. K you know, Dr. K he's a, he's like a streamer and no. he does therapy sessions with other streamers. Um, something like that has always interested me, like putting your life, your vulnerability. So frontal, like I'm sure you could find someone. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for sure. I, I mean, obviously there's like specific <laughs> pieces that I can't really, uh, you know, wouldn't be able to touch on on a public platform, but like things like my attention issues are like, it is wearing me out. And I know this, the job that I just finished today was not helping the last like four years I was doing it, you know? Um, so I that mental refresher. Yeah. You know what they call that? They call that the alpha brain pill or whatever the fuck. Call that Joe Rogan's yeah. on it. Yeah. Is Gamma that what, alpha brain. Yeah. That shit. That's what they call that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I, I'm very excited about the uh, therapy. I, I'm, I'm interested to see if, uh, because I'm a very like I'm kind of annoyingly aware of my uh, of my position in most settings with professionals. So like when I was uh, I had a, I have a I had a cyst on my balls, and it felt like I had to pee really really bad. And I just I, I asked the doctor I was like, how many how many how many nuts are you touching a day, brother? <laughs> I was just very aware of my like my position there. And he was like, ah, not many. It's, not, it's, it's kind of rare that we because I had to get an ultrasound on my own on my balls. I didn't. They had to put like the gel on my. I'm like, how often do you have to? You know, were you pregnant? I, my balls weren't pregnant. No, they, there was just a big fat cyst next to my. I have like a fat vein in my. Sounds left like nut. cancer, dude. Well, well, I was actually concerned genuinely. I have, but I have a fat left nut vein. No, I was a right nut vein, and it was just like attached to that, and it was just being annoying. Um. In the comments, tell us about your nut vein. Oh, tell us about your nut veins issues. and the thick the thickness of either of them. Um, but I, I, I just I, you know, like Twix has left Twix and right tick Twix. Yeah. Hashtag left, left nut vein. Hashtag yeah. right nut vein. V something is the name of it. I don't remember. Vest, the vast deferens. I don't remember. Um, the vast deferens. Yeah, the vast deferens. That's the that's one. That's your little cum transporter, dude. I have a big one. That's not a vein. Well, by the way, never mind. But I don't remember what it's called. It's V something. Um, the vast deferens. 
we are the best of friends. I got to agree with you. <laughs> we're the best of Please friends. Laugh. We're the worst of Please friends. Laugh. <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> oh my god! Don't worry. I have about par- I have a few paragraphs of jokes here. I got to read to you that you won't laugh at. What are you saying for the for the news bit? Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Which has just been shelved until the very end where it won't be funny at all. But that's fine. We'll end the episode out on a high note, I promise you. I told you they'd be bangers. So it'll be worth it. Just what? you and I, just me reading the news to you. Oh, that'll that'll get your gut busted. If, if you're just like gonna read like channel four, like today there was a break. <laughs> it's just funny because it's not funny. I'm waiting for it. Well, in a way, so like, again, I, I, I thought of the idea, well, I, mean, I didn't like invent this idea, but I'm always inspired by like the, the Norm McDonald stuff, the way he read jokes on his podcast and the way he did Weekend Update for like SNL. And I think that A, some options to shoehorn in some current event stuff for some clips, maybe get some views. And then B, it lets me kind of practice some joke writing and then C, it's kind of a more structured bit for the show. Could be fucking awful. This one, I'll be honest with you. I wrote all of it, all of this in 30 minutes. They're based off of real news stories. This is, I, I this, these, these jokes, this time, they're always going to be a little bit trash. Let's be real. This, this will be particularly very good. Okay. We'll leave it at that. Very good. So Gooder than next times, I'm sure. We're doing that this time, or we're doing that next time? I have these news stories lined up. I, I prepared this for today's episode. Okay. This is what I got okay. for today. So- <coughs> I don't know how to introduce. I don't know how to. I, I didn't think about how to introduce this. Well, well, welcome, welcome, welcome to welcome, well, everyone, welcome to the news this week. Um, this week's segment is brought to you by um, <laughs> something. Um, let's let let's let let's, let's, let's get right into the news. This past week, Georgia's Department of Revenue ruled that you can now claim an embryo as a dependent on your taxes. Why not? After all, an, it's another mouth you'll have to feed us. On a similar note, Florida Representative Matt Gates is in hot water after telling abortion rights protesters nobody wants to impregnate you. Newsflash, Mr. Gates, nobody wants to impregnate you either. Oh my, dude, because he's a guy. It just doesn't make he's, sense. He's a guy, yeah. Um, speaking of representatives, Lauren Bobart says Venezuelans eat dogs because they have no guns, completely ignoring the incredible biceps it would take to tear apart and eat a dog. Oh my, dude. How would they even do that? If they wanted to eat the dog, how would they do that? Look at the dog. Uh, hold on, I gotta move mine. Wait, you don't have to actually, I'm the, I'm the, you're the I'm the audience. Okay. Hey guys. Okay. According to newsbeezer.com, a chess robot in Moscow has broken the finger of its human opponent. However, I would like to see this guy defend himself, as he does not seem to be able to make a point. <laughs> I'm fucking... Oh my god, that's so good actually. Twitter says Elon Musk's spam analysis used a tool that called his own account a bot. I suggest they use my spam analysis tool, which determines if something is meaty and delicious. Oh, uh, spam is because. The thing is, it's like a fake meat, and it's yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 for our, our our last news story of this week, a new study by the National Academy of Sciences finds that spiders likely sleep and dream a lot like people. A subsequent study has found that they also unknowingly consume six to eight people in their sleep Dude. per year. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get like the the, the uh, what's it called? You know, the, 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 like pops in the in the thing, and it's like it's like a dead. That was pretty good. The, 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 the funniest one was actually that one. I just I just coughed when you made the joke, but the, I like I like how uh, it's speak. It's a fun, the joke is funny because they say that we eat six to eight Spiders monkeys a night. In a year. Oh, yeah, yeah mon- your monkeys a night. Yeah. <laughs> um, that Andrew Tate eats six to eight women in his sleep ooh, per year. That's probably true. With uh, that's probably where the uh, that that masseuse went. Call back. I I, I I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe maybe this is trash. I just think it's funny to write out some jokes and some headlines and put it in clips or something. So this is definitely going to be I have a vision of it already. 
Sure. Because I don't know your vision. I have. I, have I don't my really own have. Vision. I literally wrote all of that in thirty minutes. Yeah. After work today. Yeah. So I, there could. There's certainly room for a lot more vision there. I have. I have a vision for it. Yeah, I'm gonna help you with. But clearly, I want to wear a suit next time. I want to wear a suit next time ooh. and do it. That's what I'll do. Okay, get one of those fake like rip off ones. You can just rip it off after. I have an actual suit. I'll put on an actual. There you go. Um, suit. But clearly, podcast listeners, I'm not with it tonight. I'm tired. I'm a little. How many episodes boy. in a row are we gonna? Wait, how many episodes you've been promising us for years, Ben? <laughs> How many episodes in a row is it going to be we're too tired for this before we put on a goddamn show? What I need, what I need, and maybe I can get some viewers to send it in. Sean I just, need, just uploaded a picture. I need steroids. You need steroids? Yes. Why is that? Stay awake or something. I don't know what steroids do. Some caff- Oh, You're off caffeine. I'm I'm still on caffeine, but it doesn't it doesn't have the effect that I want. We to still have. have an entire TikTok bit segment from like a month ago that's yet to be used. Well, as you well wanted too. Sean to be here, and then he ditched halfway through. So. You can, yeah, fuck it, we'll play. That's how we'll end it. That's how we'll end you this. Wanna, you want to do we'll play do it anyways? Okay. I forgot what I put in here. I remember it being trash too. I remember it be. I remember putting this one together and being like, "This is the worst one." Okay. Let's see, let's see, <laughs> so let's see. we'll fucking play it. Who gives a shit? That'll play us out tonight. Next but, time, I got some shit I got to do in between. Next episode of now, we'll talk about it. Next ep- next episode of now, yeah, we'll talk about it off the air. We'll figure it out. But I will have, I will have a new segment written out. Maybe we'll have another TikTok bit. Maybe we'll figure out a new bit on top of that. We'll have it. We'll run a tight ship. We'll run a tight ship. We'll be prepared. Yeah, it'll be the tightest ship in the world. The little pussy the little ship. The thing tightest is, tightest little ship, <laughs> tightest little barely legal ship you've yeah. ever seen <laughs> sail the high seas. So I think. The big thing that we need are friends. So y'all uh, hear about this uh, airline food? <laughs> Here, we don't need... Um, you guys seen we this can watch happen? TikToks on my it's phone. Charlie, the first time I've ever seen this happen. Ford just released the Bronco Heritage Edition. Did you hear that? The Ford, this is hold the first time on. Let's just commentate this. The, the, <laughs> so Ford just released the Bronco heritage edition now if you're not familiar with the bronco it's the famous car that oj simpson did his 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 chase in where he you know didn't murder that wife and waiter um they rebooted it again a couple of years ago it's actually a pretty fucking sick looking car if you ask me now this guy is saying at gearhead official is saying that they made a heritage edition let's watch a major car manufacturer has released a vintage style trim for a car that they mass produce a vintage style trim for a car that they mass produce. I, I don't know. Is that revolutionary? Someone fucking tell me. It smells like vagina in my room and I'm really pissed about it. I don't know what the fuck that smells like. <laughs> just from. getting too much pussy, man. I guess so. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let me make you this big again. All right. I'm hitting play. Just tell me you're ready, dude. No, I'm ready. Call that a, a hand Pacino? Are they making a cappuccino in the hand? Latte. <laughs> what am I? What am I looking at? <laughs> well, I think that's a, I think that's a jar of sauce, some kind of marinara sauce, some kind of red no, I sauce. Need, I need more detail. What sauce is the, this, dude? I'm getting the trumpet in. It's just the marinara sauce. This is not, there's, there's no way there's a minute marinara sauce. <laughs> what the fuck the kind basil? of porn are you making now? Where are the little basils, dude. You're saying it's not marinara sauce because you don't see little basils. I don't see little basils. I don't it see little basils. It could be basils. as basic as could be as ba- I don't think marinara sauce is defined by its basil content. But the you little fuck. black nibblies in there are not there. You cannot call them that anymore. <laughs> you cannot. You cannot say that. You've been canceled. If we haven't been canceled by this episode three already, times, dude. saying those black nibblies <laughs> in the sauce, go fuck yourself. <laughs> okay. But where are they? A marinara sauce could be just tomatoes if it damn so well fucking pleased. The D word, dude. Cut it out. <laughs> Bro, what's so funny about that is that the fart that I had like an hour ago just sounded just like it. It's actually crazy. (laughs) 
I was, I, dude, that, that, that had, I'm happy that ended where it did. I was worried that there was going to be a second pig at the chopping block. <laughs> Yeah, just, just the four pig. <laughs> Are they just fucking up? Is that the joke? Yeah. Yeah, they're just fucking up at the McDonald's drive thru. She oh, kept I, adding more so juices. Yeah, I, I, wish, I wish I worked retail so I could just fucking poison people's drinks. Getting abortion. <laughs> Joke's on them. You can't get a pickle pregnant. Just think. It tastes better with your own homemade ranch. What? I am <laughs> he means come. Currently hitting the gritty for Ukraine. Join our Discord server now. Do you want to hit the, hit do the, you the gritty hit for, the your gritty for Ukraine? Look, how do you? Ball is how do you hit the gritty? Okay, so like the gritty. that. Wait. The gritty's at the dance. Yeah. Like Are you gonna hit the gritty? Like, yeah, you gotta I, hop, hop forward. There move. you go. I can't. I don't have much space, and I, I if I if I jump, my parents are gonna yell at me. It's like this. It's like, yeah, the, it's, yeah, like yeah. The, it's like the hype dance, right? Yeah. I play Fortnite. I know. Hit the gritty. They, probably add, they definitely added the gritty to Fortnite. I can hit the gritty in Fortnite. <laughs> Clip. <laughs> Clip that. <laughs> I can. I can. Wait, wait, wait. Put the kill bill. <laughs> I can hit the gritty in Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I can hit the gritty in Fortnite. Can I join the Discord server in Fortnite too? No. The UK. <laughs> he broke every leg in his body. <sighs> if he doesn't get in. Dollar Tree is yeah. not just a job, it's a career. This is a direct response to you, by the way. That's <laughs> your work philosophy at Dollar oh Tree. It's literally a clip of you. God, I don't know. Dude, I want to find my name tag. I have my name tag somewhere. Can you imagine playing Cards Against Humanity with the Joker? <laughs> you know that guy's gonna say some pretty effed up crap. But hey, that's the Joker. I don't get it. I don't get that. What happened? Why, do, you know, why is he gonna say effed up crap? Well, because it's a, it's a game where you like, you know, kind of make up some funny things and there's some kind of edgy offensive cards and cards against humanity. And the Joker is notoriously like kind of an edgy person. And so, you know, he would say some pretty messed up crap if you would have played cards against humanity with the Joker. I hope another bird hits your window and dies, bro. <laughs> That's that's that. When he took time, yeah. I mean, it's dead. Yeah, it's a dead man. I wish. Why did he sound like? I love those videos because I'm just watching your face instead of the video the whole time trying to watch you process and figure out what you're even seeing. What I just heard was the sound of like when you bug out in like a video game and your character just keeps making the hurting sound like, oh, 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 ew, oh, you know what I mean? I was born in a biker cocoon. I want to live in a biker cocoon. I want to wrap myself in a biker cocoon. Ooh, sizzle. That's biker cocoon. That's actually rad. This is so loud. Are those locusts? <laughs> Thank you, audio listeners. Are those locusts? Yeah. Dude, the, that's like some like Gears of War shit. Is Gears of War real life? Is that based <laughs> on a true story? The, can you hit the gritty in Gears of War? <laughs> I can't figure out how to do it already. Get up, cocksuckers. It's all over. Stab yourself in the hand. Tape it. Attach a flashlight. Bring in my words. Is this a different video or is this the same video? Yeah, it's a different video. It's a different video. What happened? I never got the conclusion. Well, he's just telling you to stab your hand and tape a flashlight. I love you. I need, <laughs> this is just like a coming out moment. <laughs> I, dude, I just want the lore. Uh. 
<laughs> when we're on national syndicated television, right? When we take this show to fucking TLC. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When we're live on tour and we have our own Netflix shit, and this is the funniest thing in the goddamn world. People look back in this episode and just see us not knowing what the fuck to talk about to a guy. Period. Yeah, Period. To, a, to a guy, Period. to a guy, <laughs> and 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 people will be like, wow, 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 oh, wow, they came so far. And then, but you watching right now, this is the funniest fucking thing in the world. Probably. And then, and then, and then, it'll it'll be even it'll be an extra level of funny because they'll think back to this episode, and I'm gonna do use your bit from last time. They're gonna go, uh, 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 uh mom, uh, wait, what was the bit? You, <laughs> oh, mom, mom. I like the episode where Zach and Ben talk about having a good podcast. <laughs> you know what I mean, dude? Yeah, where every single episode's like this. This is gonna get better. Yeah, I promise you. This next episode, we're gonna do something. <laughs> this, Just come on the next it, time. It's like, wow, well, that really didn't work out the way we wanted that, to. I think next you, time we'll try something. That's how you build hype, dude. You know how, like, for example, like Dr. Dre said he was gonna release Detox in like 2006, and he still hasn't released it or whatever. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's pretty much Compton, but yeah, no, yeah. totally. Yeah, he scrapped it forever. You get it. Yeah, yeah. you get it. I get you. Uh, Detox one. Sean is okay. Sean left to do all that shit. Started posting pictures in our Discord, and then is sending me TikToks again. Currently, he might as well just still be here. That's exactly what I'm saying. What a pussy. Dude. Go ahead, keep playing the show. Okay. So speaking of TikToks. Bringing my water on the plane. Uh, on the plane. Bringing so my water so on the plane. Okay, y'all can see three board. Oh, for half a gallon. I open it. Go to the top. Half a gallon. My it's half a gallon. You can't bring liquids on a plane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was that? You gotta drink that water out here. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm gonna drink it on the plane. No, you can't. You can't take it. Yeah. No, you cannot. <clears throat> yeah, I can take it. It's fine. Right. She say I can't take it. Thank you. She did say that he couldn't take it. <laughs> she said they're gonna kick me out the line. I hate to be rude. Was that rude? That was rude. That he, was the whole video. He didn't get it on he, he the plane. He made a whole video. He made a whole video. Taking my water on the plane. Made the whole this whole storyline. He built hype to it. That is what that is literally the like TikTok equivalent to this entire show. It's just yeah. like, yeah, guys literally. are gonna bring water on a plane. We're gonna do it. We're gonna bring a whole gallon of water on the plane. We try to get in the plane. They're like, sir, you can't take water on a plane. And we're like, why not? And they're like, you can't do it. And then we leave and it's over. And then we have to sing the song at the beginning. Bring it uh, out on a plane. You know the one? Uh, All right. Oh, uh, is that a. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's all, folks. <laughs> now we're getting into Sean's TikToks, the ones that he, he sent me. Uh oh, you made that transition. Yeah, that's a sick <laughs> transition, dude. That's, that's a sick transition. Why does he send you this? Why does he send you this? She wants to unplug. Unplug is very haram. Don't unplug. Don't unplug. Why does he send you this? Remember that Batman character that was on Vine? That would go like, uh, like super vaguely. He'd be like, you'd be like, my daughter. Or I don't. He'd say some fucking shit. It was, it was cringe. Same guy. His, his face is eating it. His mouth is not even touching that. He's going. <laughs> so hey, he hasn't actually, for someone that's going that hard on the watermelon, has not made too much progress. Right, that's what I, I was going to say. He's not really doing that well. That's it. <laughs> Goodbye, folks. <laughs> that's it. Jesus. <laughs> I remember I made that, and I was just watched the back, and I was like, 
Yeah, this could be better. <laughs> so, <laughs> so again, the constant theme of this episode is yeah, it could be self better. Improvement. Yeah, this yeah. shit could be better. It's just pretty mid. So, dude, actually, great episode. First of all, second of all, dude, it's called action. What are, what are the, what do the fans got to do? Support your local. Um, su- su- support your. Hold on, I can do this. I can think of something. Support your local. Did I say bookstore last time? I did this. It was farmer's market, cobbler, and something else. I couldn't remember what the deli or something. I don't remember what it was. Yeah. Well, this time you can support a local bookstore, support a record shop. I like my record shops. And then you can also support. Go out and vote. Go out and vote. Support your local politician of choice in your current local election. This is probably the one that matters, not the presidential one. Yeah. Yeah, the vote for uh, Apple Podcast top podcast. Uh, vote so me. Con- Write me in as a write-in candidate across the country, and we'll see what happens when someone gets written in to be a treasurer in Milwaukee and a mayor in Nebraska. Okay. Sean um, sent me another TikTok. No, let's continue this bit. Sean sent okay. me two TikToks yeah. since this this ended. This is this is one of them. Negativity can be like an addiction. Oh yeah. By being oh, that's a, that's that is a that is a funny meme format. And yeah, yeah. And then he sent me this one. It's very hard. Women are confusing. All right. <laughs> She's supposed to kiss you. Oh, and my hand now. Okay. I don't know what's going on, but all right now, here. I'm uncomfortable for this guy. Yeah, I mean, you can barely see that. This is a fun show, if you can't tell. Um, yeah, he 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 paid a girl to kiss her hand at a convention. Fantastic. Um. So we don't have shit to sell. We don't have you, shit to sell. I'll actually buy you shit this time. Hold action. If you're listening to this on Apple Podcasts. I can't believe you're actually fucking listening to this shit, you fucking stupid you sad asshole. You little idiot. <laughs> you fucking uh, stupid asshole. I'll the, buy you a shirt, a five star stupid rate. fucking... There's a five-star rating on Apple Podcasts, right? That's how it works? I can check. Do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. How it's actually rating. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know how Spotify so, works either. I only know how do you do how you So, do. I, will, I will say this. The t-shirt, this exclusive t-shirt it's just for subscriber to the main channel however this design definitely don't reverse image search it on google and find our spread shop that we're using to find this shit and then order it on your mm-hmm. own because there's nothing i can do to stop you from doing that yeah. at this point please yeah. although except for that does actually give us money so Fun. whatever yeah. but if you subscribe if you do anything else if you subscribe to the clips channel tiktok or leave a review on apple music's music or apple podcast and i forget if spotify has anything similar screenshot send it to us on twitter and there's other products that have this design on it that i will buy for you there's stickers for sure i think there's an apron there's sweatshirts uh the sweatshirts a bit more expensive than the t-shirt so let's not 50 bucks run that yeah Yeah, there's, there's a mug you get a chance. So, like, for sure. Okay, l- l- let's do this. I don't think anyone's going to actually take this up. Yeah. But just, the first just in week. case this everybody be, does. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. This is just in case this gets the fucking massively popular. Yeah. Let's, let's, let, let, let's run it with this. This, this deal is going to go on until someone actually does it, right? So, if this is, like, three weeks from now when no one's subscribed once yeah. and done this, yeah. then the deal is still on the table. But here's the okay? thing. Here's the thing. There's no downside because you subscribe, screenshot unsubscribe it's so easy bro like come on it's so <laughs> literally simple. steal my fucking money <laughs> um what was i gonna say though okay so I, th- i'm taking up way too much fucking time explaining the logistics of this deal this is way too complicated okay to recap subscribe to the main channel screenshot send on twitter you get this this design is pretty nifty and it's on some other shit too ben Put some screenshots of other shit that it could possibly potentially be up here. Okay? You do any of the other shit that I mentioned, again, like subscribe to Clips Channel, TikTok, leave a review on Apple Music, Apple Podcasts, or Spotify. Screenshot, send it to us. One of the alternative items will get 
sent to you. We'll DM you. If no one takes this deal, it will be a concurrent deal until someone does, and it'll only happen once. If it anytime within the next couple of weeks, if a bunch of people take this offer up, it will be limited at some point, but I'll do more than one. Mm. Cool? Cool. All right. Good. I, I normally just put my hand to the side like this when I hand it. That's so. how I got the job. Um, but hey, thanks to everybody. Did he who... send me another TikTok? I have a friend. <laughs> and I'm going to call him out now. One friend. And I call him out now. Sometimes, it's, I think it's happened maybe twice. Maybe it's only once. I actually don't remember. Who will uh, kind of commentate. He'll watch it. He'll, he'll watch the premiere. And then he'll sometimes give me shit if I say something dumb. Right? If you listen to this far, you know who you are. Kill yourself, <laughs> you fucking poor sack of shit. That's all. If anyone wants to sponsor this show, you can email us on our business email. If you go to the Clips channel, there's an email down there. If you want to give us money to... To to ha- have your brand after what Ben just said, you can send us an email and Please. pay us hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars okay. to have Ben say "kill yourself," and then we can read an ad for blueapron.com. And and <laughs> and if you are a if you are a viewer, subscriber or not, subscribe on a different account. I before we have to just view bot and get the views up just artificially. Please just subscribe. They, 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 if you clip, see this channel has 50 subscribers next week, just know that we paid for it. We paid every fucking cent. And also, uh, Brother Man, listen here. The Clips channel, kind of sick, period. Clips channel is actually, it's, it, it's funny, right? It makes me see, it makes, the Clips channel gives me hope, right? Because yeah. the main channel, I really like the content that we're doing on it. And I think that we need to get, as you said, consistent through a full episode with the actual shit that we're doing. And we had some ideas we were floating around around that. So again, this isn't the best. Stay tuned. Yada, 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 whatever clips channel though. I mean, people seem to like it. People are subscribing to it actually. So like, yeah. you know, it makes me know that we're funny. It just needs to get like consistent. So. Right. And I, I would also like more guests, but it all depends on who's willing to come on. I know I have a lot of friends that are like, I can't do it for two and a half hours. I'm like, Sh- I, I tell them like, Sean, show up for thirty minutes. Sean shows up for like an hour sometimes and just fucks off. It's like it, it's show up for ten minutes. I'm like Zach and I are the only ones who need to stay on the entire time. Nobody else. Everybody else can hop in ten minutes, leave. I want more guests though. I want I want I want, I want guest appearances. That's something big. I we'll ask figure Al- something out. So I ask Alexis ne- about every week to to come on, and she she says yes, and then she doesn't do it. So next time. If someone wants to join on, they can join on. I'm not opposed to it, but I'll prepare for just you and me. I think the time after that, Sean said so. I'll prepare yeah. some actual bits to go through and do here. Yeah, I'll send you some messages. We'll figure some stuff out. Okay. I, I, I need to work on... Run alone. Um, viewers, um... I'm going to work on some bits and send him a uh, sec. Oh, he, he talked about getting in shape earlier. And now he's doing, he's doing it actively quick. I heard every bone in your arm crack. I'm actually a really cracky, cracky boy. Like unironically, boy. like I can crack like pretty much any part of my body. All right. Crack, uh, crack one part of your body. Did you hear that? Oh, dude, hey. you just sprained your ankle. Did you hear that? Yeah, I don't like that at all. You hear that? Is it just because you're like lanky? Wait, wait. I have really bad posture. Did you hear that? Oh, I could probably do my neck if I wanted. Did you hear that? Yeah. Dude, I can fucking. Can you do this, dude? How are you cracking your teeth? I'm a fucking superhuman, dude. 
Well, I'm happy that you're working out. I'm gonna. If you want to get jacked, dude, buy this shirt. And if you, it's if, the perfect workout shirt, dude. And, and if you want it, and if you want to get jacked, subscribe uh, to the channel. I don't, I don't know why that would help. Um, next week, uh, we're going to uh, 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 we're getting uh, Zach a DSLR for next. Uh, two, yeah, two weeks. Ben on Ben's dime. I'm sending him a ten dollar thing I find on Amazon, and Ben is sending me a Black Magic Pro 4K camera. Yep. It's actually a red cinema camera, but whatever. Yep, he's sending me a Netflix quality grade camera. Yep, and those freaking umbrella lights he liked. Yep, and then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have him still use this one at just for fun, for him to have. Yep, you you won't get to see it ever. Why are you? Your arms are so like far back. I'm sorry. I, I'm doing what my brother does. Guess did I say how tall I was earlier? You said you're six three. Yeah. Dude, but look, I look taller when I do this. Dude, I'm fucking out of shape, dude. Look at this gut. Did I get like a... I mean, I'm also like bending, bending my back a little bit. Gonna do some fucking... <clears throat> <laughs> Could you imagine, again, still being an audio listener? Fuck you. <laughs> You're not to see shit, dude. Dude, wait, do I look like tough when I do this? Hey, dude, what's going on? You talking to my girl right now? Who are you talking to? Let's do that. Dude, she's mine. Why do I look, I look like, like Big Sean? Like really soy? <laughs> you, what? No, no. Put up a side by side picture of you and Big Sean, motherfucker. Play, no, 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 no. Throw up Big Sean on the screen wait, I can't. and compare it to you. Okay, look, just I look soy. Hey. Yeah, yeah, no shit. Compared to Big Sean, no, you look big soy. Big Sean soy. My neck looks like it doesn't work. Oh, uh, so do pillows not work, apparently. <laughs> what are we doing here? Eminem. We gotta, we gotta do every episode, we gotta do some, like, <laughs> closing stretches. Take some lunges, dude. Ooh, you gotta feel it right there. You can, yeah. you can punch it a little bit, tenderize it a little bit. You do the other side. Oh, nice, nice pants. Dude, these are the best pants in the world. I'm sure they're like Indian or something. Indian style. My dog's pissed. She's just looking at me, punching myself. She's getting mad. Oh, you gotta do this. Did you call that the this vomiting cat? What are we doing? Fucking die. <laughs> goodbye. Oh, wait. Goodbye. Oh, you Shit. hit the camera right, but you hit the camera correctly. Oh, you're gonna go. Oh, I see what you're trying to do.